What's going on, guys? I appreciate those of you that were hanging out waiting on the stream to start. For those of you stopping by watching the replay, though, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. When we do these chats, you can take part right along with us. So first things first, we have two special guests here today. They each sent me four decants. We have eight fragrances that we're covering here today. Some I've been wanting to get my hands on to try for a while, and some that they've both been encouraging me over and over to try. So finally going to try those, but we have to start things off right. Scent of the day today is the new Fall of Phaeton from Argos. This is a gorgeous, smoky, aromatic. It's creamy, a little leathery, but I mean smoky as hell for a long, long time. Powerful stuff, gorgeous. Christian even does the laser etching now and etched my name in the bottom of the base. Very, very nice. I didn't see it coming. Has his signature here as well as my name, Argos logo. So taking what's already a stunning, ridiculously over-the-top presentation and adding to it to go with kind of the best of the three. So there's five new releases, counting Triumph of Bacchus x Straight and Nemean Line, which I haven't tried yet. But the three I have, this, Love, Triumph, Silver War, and Birth of Venus, this is the best one. This is definitely the best one. It's, it's breathtaking. If you like smoky fragrances, this is a smoky scent profile that I don't have, so that puts it in the wind column right away for me. So let's see who's doing what. We'll start at about the 10-minute mark. We'll go ahead and bring the guys in. They're not here yet in the backstage, um, but we'll get them in here in just a little bit. Let's get caught up real quick, see who's wearing what. CJ's in the house. Give that's for Ross and Dedrick. Much success to you both. Good to see you, CJ. <clears throat> Intense to drop was they Smash the like button. Let them know, Adolfo. Definitely let them know. Needed all of this today, Frag Fam. Well, we're here for you, Jared. Good to see you, my man. Dan, not the man, in honor of the video. Valentino Coral Fantasy, which is one of the fragrances. All eight of the fragrances are uh, are listed right there on the thumbnail. So that's all the ones we'll be checking. I've got all eight of them right here. Now, obviously, because it's eight fragrances, I'm going to be doing test strips. So who knows how that's going to go. But 90,600 subs, 100K is literally around the corner. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And then... uh for those of you who don't know, tomorrow, Justin's setting it up right now, but we have a live stream tomorrow afternoon, 4 o'clock Central, on Justin's channel. Uh, we're going to be ranking a house that we have several of. We're, we're thinking Parfums de Marley tomorrow, so make sure to be subscribed to Justin Copeland's channel as well because we'll be live over there tomorrow at 4 o'clock Central instead of over here. I may do something earlier in the day, but as far as for certain, we'll be live on Justin's channel. I know. I saw your post. Joel made sure to message me right away to let me know he got his bottle. Don't tell me nothing. Mum's the word. I don't want to know yet. Uh, my bottle's not here yet. <clears throat> Explorer to work. Starwalk Extreme out the shower. Tomorrow's video, the highly request that I just finished editing and uploading it. Uh, it's been over a year and a half since I revamped my fresh out the shower video. So, And it's been heavily requested by a few people, so. I finally did that. Did that. That's going to be tomorrow's video. Kyler, I appreciate that. Good to see you, my man. Hit that like button. Send of the days. Second Soul, 10 out of 10 super banger. I, I tell Justin every time we talk, we were on the phone. I mean, we were texting earlier, but we were on the phone like two or three nights ago, and Second Soul came up, and I'm like, man, I always go back and forth between Evening Mystique and Second Soul, and which is my favorite. You know, it's it's unreal how good it is. Adonis Awakens, excellent choice, Patrick. Burberry Touch for Kevin. Everybody saying hello to one another. Josh, good to see you. Prado and Rosa Ocean, the EDT. Let's see, we scroll down a little bit. Josh is wearing Musk Therapy. Gary is wearing CK1 Shock. LTG, two of my favorite channels. Well, Gabriel, we sure appreciate that. Yeah, Randy will be here about 440. So in about five minutes, he said he'll be here. He's uh he's doing some work. He's working from home today. He's gonna take a lunch hour to come join us for a little while. Happy Tuesday, smelling like Clark Griswold stepping out on an oversized Christmas tree with polo green today. I'm sorry. That's one of the greatest scent profiles of all time. I'll stand by that. I'll die on that mountain. I have no problem with that. That's phenomenal. Two people wearing Luna Rosa Ocean EDT today. All right. Armani Code Eau de Parfum. Paris Corner Lord Despoir Ombre. That is a monster. That's a good one. Javonchi Gentleman Intense. I, I was indifferent with that one. It's nice. It just didn't make me want to get a bottle. I had a decan of it. Randy's in the chat waiting on his cue. We got Dedrick getting set up backstage. We'll bring him on in about five minutes as well as Randy. We'll bring him on about the same time. Low 60s here. Autumn is in the air. So, yeah, it's 
The weather's been uh, crisp and cool over here, too. What is it currently? I could have just looked at my watch. It's currently 68 degrees here uh, in the mornings going to the gym. It's been pretty chilly. I actually haven't been riding my motorcycle. I've been taking the car. So it's uh, it's been crisp. Juan, Juan is wearing Code Colonia. I haven't sprayed that one in a long time. Gabe, what's going on? Bad Boy La Parfum. Strong with you, Oud, yesterday. It's a beast, and I love the scent. It's the only one I haven't tried. So that's one of the decants Randy sent me. I've literally smelled all of them. I either have a bottle of all of them or have a decant. Now I finally can get can smell the last piece of the puzzle. I don't have bottles of leather and 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 ooh, that's the only two I don't have bottles of. So I want to get them this, you know, the tail end of this year. And I've heard they're very redundant. And I love strong with you leather. So it'll be nice to see if they're if, what the differences actually are and see if it's I mean, I'll probably still get both of them anyway, but I want to see how close it actually is. What's going on, Rob? Wearing Ambra Orea? Is that how you say that? From Profumum Roma. The most incredible resinous amber I've ever smelled. No, uh, Justin, we're setting up everything for tomorrow, so excuse me for a second. Let me answer that text real quick. Not anymore. So I may have to answer Justin from time to time because we're setting everything up for tomorrow. So I'm going to be kind of all over the place. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm, I'm Mr. Multitask. I did a hat video, then edited and uploaded, uh, filmed this fresh out the shower video last night, edited, uploaded today. We got the stream going now. I'm got setting up things with Justin. I like to multitask. I like having a lot going on. Movement is life. It is key, ladies and gentlemen. It is key. Coach Platinum for Seth. Center of the day is up on the thumbnail. Noir Ombre. So, man, the words some similar to Virtus Vanilla Oud were thrown around with that. So I, I'm glad I'm getting an opportunity to try it. AM's in the house wearing Robert Graham Valor, lif, listening while at work. I appreciate you. Dior Sauvage Elixir, but Cade from the top is quickly becoming my favorite. Chanel Lorem Sport, you can't go wrong there, Devin. Mine came in today as well, but haven't opened it, saving it for the vid. I don't blame you. I do a lot. If you're going to do a first impression, wait to bust the plastic till then. That's what I would do. If you if you plan on doing a first impression, let the, you know, part of it's the ASMR effect that people enjoy of the actual opening of the package and everything I've learned over the years. Let's see. Looking forward to the panel discussion tonight. Would love to see more. Well, we have both gentlemen backstage. We'll be bringing them on in about a minute and a half. I'm going to finish getting caught up with you guys. Right around 10-minute mark, we'll bring them on, and we'll start talking some fragrance. Jorge, good to see you. The Boz has arrived. Now we can start. Boz is here, so now we can start. Good to see you, Boz. We're in Triumph of Bacchus. Excellent choice. Excellent choice, my man. Happy Land Wonderland for Real Fragrance Reviews. Good to see you, Kevin. Catching live while at my desk at work wearing you Om Le Parfum. I did see your post earlier. I appreciate you tagging me in that. That's a great fragrance. Polo Red, the original for Svengali. Tuberose Overdose from Banana Republic for Daryl. Let me scroll down a bit because I'm getting behind so quickly. DJ Senses in the house wearing Bad Boy Cobalt. Pretty good, but a bit burnt out because I hit the gym today. Keep it, keep it up, though, Bosman. I'm proud of you, man. Kevin Hill has arrived. Frank Olivier Amber, incredibly, incredible scent. Hello, Ross and Fragheads. Don't know if burnout's the right term to you. Exhausted, you know, fatigued, maybe sore. There's a couple of words that could go there for sure. Sweetie Wood from Roger Parfums for Antonio. You, sir, smell incredible. You're the, I think you're the one to beat in the chat right now, personally. Doing a live stream during lunch hour at work is dedication. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Randy's dedicated. He, he's taking a lunch just to do this. So... Let's scroll ahead. I think we're going. Ahead. We're about to hit 10 minutes. Let me go ahead and skip down, and we'll get started. Jason, good to see you. Travel back from Louisiana today wearing Alexandria's Visionary. I smell. Mikey's in the house. Tapped in for this one. What's going on, Mikey? Narcotica for Patrick. Noir Ombre is not similar to Vanilla Oud, in my opinion. It's not even in the same soul. Well, he didn't say it smelled exactly like it. He's like, same vibe kind of thing. So that alone makes me really, really want to try it. So signature tobacco. So we've made it to the bottom and I have to acknowledge what AC is wearing because now AC is the one to beat. Both of my top two choices here in the chat today are Roger Parfums fragrances. Oligarch, 
It doesn't even matter if it's the EDP or the Parfum. My man, you're winning at life right now. That's one of the best fragrances. I mean, it's hell. It's the only scent profile I've ever given a 10 to. That's how I feel about that scent profile. Whether it's Oligarch EDP, Parfum, or Isola Blue, it's the same fragrance, two different concentrations, one reformulation, all three phenomenal. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, my two special guests, Mr. Dedrick Hicks Jr. and Mr. Randy, the fragrance dude. What's going on? on? What's going on? What's up, Ross? You all right? I can't complain. How are you gentlemen doing today? Good. How you doing, Randy? I uh, just got, as you know, as you just said, I just got done work. Well, mm -hmm. done working for an hour at least. <laughs> I appreciate you sparing a little time with us. I'll try to be as speedy as I can when we're going through the decants. Uh, if you take your time, if, if it goes longer, I don't care. <laughs> well, here's a question I have. I guess we'll start clockwise. Dedrick, what are you yeah. wearing today, my man? Uh, today we got some nice cool weather here in Jacksonville. So I was able to finally break this out today. We're going with Nishanae's Popular Fico. Oof. I've heard good things. Today, today. Talk to me about it. Oh man. It's beautiful, man. Uh, spicy, slightly animalic, um, herbaceous. Um, it's, it kind of has this airy quality to it, even though it has this, uh, this depth in its body to it. It's really good. Lasts all day long. Um, I still smell it coming off. Uh, the sprays that I put on my chest. So first time wearing it. I love it. Um, it's already in the top five of my niche. So um, it's real good. Isn't that the thing with niche? You could have 10 of them. And boy, the next time you get one, you're like, yep, this makes the top five. Because they're all fact. just so good. You that just can't go fact. wrong with the house. Yeah, that was an anniversary gift from my wife. Uh, this past year, we celebrated 10 years. So that was my gift from her. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations for sure. That's a hell of a gift. Randy, how about you, my man? Talk to us. What you wearing? Uh, one of my subscribers just sent this to me. I Now that I have my smell back pretty much, I'm wearing, I don't know how to say the brand name. I think it's Alghabra or Alghabra. I don't know how to actually say the name. I know what you're talking about, but I don't. Th I think I'd butcher it too. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's Alghabra and it's called Cuban Tobacco. Uh, okay. It smells like a mixture between um, Dior Toba Color mixed with um, uh, Parfums de Marley Herod, and then add in some dark chocolate. That's the one you were talking about in our group chat. Yeah, I tried to wear it two days ago, and it was uh, I couldn't really smell it fully, and so I wanted to give it another shot today, and I absolutely love it. The opening five minutes is a little bit too much jasmine, like white floral. That's mm -hmm. where that Toba color is coming in. But as that smoothens out, you get more of like a Herod mixed with dark chocolate. I, I absolutely love it. Well, I assumed as soon as you said the word Herod in the group chat, I was like, well, you must like that because I know you're a Herod guy. Yeah, I really like it. This is more of almost I, I told him it's almost compared to Herod. It has vibes of it, but it's almost like if you smelled a Cuban cigar with dark chocolate. That's literally what it smells that's like. Good. That doesn't that sound good. That sounds crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that does sound really good. So with that said, I'm glad to hear that you you got your sense of smell back and you're feeling a little bit better. If you had to put a percentage on it, how healthy are you? Uh, about 80. I still feel really bad. And, um, mm -hmm. As far as my sense of smell, that's about 90% back. I didn't do a video yesterday, today, or tomorrow because, I mean, sure. what's the point of me doing a video if I can't smell anything? And I already exhausted last week of doing videos where I don't have to smell things, where I can just talk about things I already have. Mm -hmm. um, so right now, I still feel like I have flu symptoms. Like right now, I feel like I'm Damn. sitting here and I have the chills. But oh um, man, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Even to the better, point where I was feel so better. I was so hot on my face, I shaved my beard, which I hardly ever do. Damn man, I'm sorry. To hear better, that. that sounds Thank miserable. You. Yeah. Hey, eighty percent is way better than it could have been, and or as it was anyway. So I'm glad you're at least on the road to feeling right. better. I appreciate it, oh, man. But with that said, I think we should go ahead and dive into the first one. And I think the one I'm going to dive into first is the one that I've heard such resoundingly positive things about. And I think we're going to go in Genius Ginger from Goldfield and Banks. See, look, uh, look at the excitement, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Randy has told me wonderful things. Uh, Justin has told me wonderful things. Dedrick, you've tried this as well, right? Yes, it is absolutely I, great. I believe I heard some good stuff from you also. So, yeah, this decant came from that bottle, guys. And uh, with this fragrance, I uh, first time I sprayed it, I actually didn't like it at all. It, it took oh, wow. me. It, it was the second time I sprayed it. 
I don't know what it was. I think I was wearing something that it just didn't meld with uh, that day whenever I first got it. But I, I absolutely love this fragrance. So I'm making an on the fly decision because I don't have anything on my arms and I'm going to be showering probably in like two hours. I think I'm going to put all eight on my arms. Oh, boy. Oh, it's gonna be it. it's gonna be something in here, but yeah, let's get with it, man. We don't get. I'm doing it, me. man. Let's, let's oh, keep let's keep the it. keep this one off your arm. Just put that put that one on a tester because that's Why? a lot of that's a lot of ISO E super. Uh, so that well, yeah. I, I got to get the full effect. If I'm gonna yeah. go seven of them, well, that, there you go. go eight, yeah, you know? you might as well. Yeah, go so, hard to shut the stream down. Yeah, go yeah, exactly. You might as well turn this shit off. <laughs> and speaking of just and speaking of Justin tomorrow, he's the one who got me interested in this. So that's what I'm saying, Justin boy. We, He's not he's not trying to sell you. He's not a salesman type, yeah. but boy, he can sell somebody on fragrance, right? Yeah, it was him and his yeah, wife. They went they went out and they were sitting at a bar, if I remember, and mm -hmm. uh they just came across this fragrance right after and they both loved it and they both purchased the bottle on the spot. A lot of his content has generated a lot of those purchases over the years. Yeah. Cause I've been watching him since he, you know the beginning. His channel's been around like seven years. So that is crisp and juicy in the top. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep. I was not anticipating that. I was expecting uh, more spice. I was, mm -hmm. I guess, because of the name, I'm expecting loads of ginger, mm -hmm. which I, I think that's what the crispness is. But it's very juicy citrus. Kind of smells a bit like maybe a bergamot. No, 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 no. That's not bergamot. That's more like a grapefruit or a lemon or something. Lemon. Like yeah, it definitely, cha it definitely changes as you get past that citrus. That is so much fresher than I thought it was going to be. I was thinking more like uh, the density of something that's good for the transitional system seasons, like a spring fall. Very it fresh. It straight up smells, you know, summertime fresh. Yeah, very it's, fresh. It's very fresh for the first half hour, but then it does kind of, whenever you get further in, it does kind of get to that transitional season vibe when the vanilla and all that comes in. It's this is stuff. bright ginger. Is it's great. It, like it's it's a distinctive ginger smell, but it's very bright. Mm -hmm. Like I said, crisp is such a good word for this while still having a watery like lemon juice type of smell. It's not just like a cut lemon. It's like the squeezing the juice. Yep. <laughs> squeezing the juice. <laughs> yeah, squeezing the juice. Exactly. You, you remind me of that. What was it? Uh, Encino Man. You remember that movie? <laughs> <laughs> Encino Man. <laughs> yeah. So let's go ahead and pull these notes up then while we're at it. Let's see. Yeah, I think I called it sharp and effervescent. That was the words that I used. I don't think it's super sharp on me, but effervescent, certainly. I think that's a great descriptor. So we got fresh, citrus, fruity, sweet, and spicy. I think that's an accurate main accord profile. What do you guys think? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. I don't get as much sharpness either. Um, but like you said, Ross, I didn't, I thought it was going to be a lot more spicier. I thought it was going to be a lot more just tickling my nose, but yeah, it's so pleasant though. It's so pleasant. And I get like a refreshing feel from it too, especially in the this, open. This is such a, a laid back casual day. Oh yeah. This is a casual daytime vibe. Nothing serious here. Like I don't even think like professional settings though. You can pull it. It's just too much of a laid back vibe to me to be handling business. That's, that's yeah. just how it comes across. Yeah, Justin got a gourmand edge to it. He said mm -hmm. it was like a lemon pound cake. I don't fully get that part of it. Not um, me either. Well, the vanilla pops off my skin. So I do say that the vanilla creeps in a little bit more as it dries down. Yeah. Yeah. So I it, do it get a little bit of the vanilla, but it's not dominant. Not on me right now. Maybe as it dries, it'll get more and more prominent. It kind of puts yeah. me in the mind of uh, Chanel's uh, uh, Blanche. Uh, the. Yeah. Um, the, it makes me remind reminds me of the uh blanchet from chanel <laughs> now that so, you say that i completely understand what you're saying yeah almost yeah. like chanel edition blanche mixed together with like a ginger ale mm, perfect <laughs> ginger ale makes complete sense that's perfect. it's too fresh to be just your standard spiced ginger note that you get in most fragrances uh that ginger ale comparison makes a lot of sense so brazilian mandarin orange australian ginger flower vanilla amber italian bergamot italian lemon musk rose australian sandalwood cashmere chinese magnolia indonesian patchouli and jasmine i would not have guessed there were this many florals in here yeah me either because it's I, not that it's it's a much more straightforward scent profile in the top than what i'm seeing in this breakdown yeah in the top i mostly get uh ginger lemon <laughs> cashmere and 
Because right. uh, you get that like fizziness from the cashmere in, yeah, and for then sure. as it dries, that's when the amber and like De like Dedrick said, it's amber vanilla. That's when that starts to really pop, and it usually it takes about fifteen minutes or so. And then it starts to get into that a, a slight like woody nuance to it. That has to be that cashmere. In. That's the only thing I, that I would see is any form of prominence to a woody note. But I'm not getting dominated by vanilla. It is nice. It's super uplifting. Like I put this actually in the category of something like an ogivre, for example. Not quite as fresh, but same vibe. Like mm, I would want, I would want to spray it for the same scenarios, same attire. Okay, yeah, I got you. Okay, I got you. You know, not, yeah. not the same scent profile, but the right, same right, 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 like right. wearing experience. Like this is yeah. what I would wear it for. The same yeah, when situation. I'm when I'm running around and I got to run errands or I'm just kind of flying out with my hair in the wind, so to speak, even though I'm bald. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the type of <laughs> that's the type of fragrance that I wear. Yeah. <laughs> see, yeah, see, I don't actually personally for me. I mean, on mm -hmm. your skin, it might do that. On my skin, I see more of a spring and fall because I get. I mean, honestly, for me, it would be any season, but it comes off a bit creamier on my skin. It is getting if, creamier as you're yeah. saying that though, but mm -hmm. it's, it's, I'm at a transitional point right now where I, like I said, I'm starting to get more of the vanilla. I'm starting to get more of a woody nuance. Like it's, it's settling. Like that juiciness is, is dissipating a little bit and it's starting to settle in. And I'm sure a little bit of that creaminess is that ginger note itself because yeah. ginger can come across pretty creamy sometimes too. It's but really I totally good. Get what you're saying. It's really good. I, I would easily throw a solid eight out of 10 on this one. And I think I might even be undershooting it. It's just a spur of the moment first impressions without getting into the dry down. This is basically off of the top. Um, easily an eight out of 10 here in the opening. I'm sure this is one that could potentially creep its way up into an 8.59 range because yeah. I'm not even really getting the full experience here in this moment. Yeah, the dry down is definitely the the part that I would give more or close to like an 8.59 for me. The mm -hmm. opening, I would give an eight. Yeah, that was my overall. I gave it an eight overall. Um, but as I got closer to the dry down, I, I gave it another half as well. I, I really liked it. I mean, when I wore mine, it was a day off. I had to run around and move around a little bit. So um, mm -hmm. it's definitely something that I would go to for sure. Do you get any just just as it started to dry down, anything from Tigar start to pump? pump uh, a little bit. It's funny a little bit. you say that. It's yeah, funny. That's because of the amber note coming in. Yeah. I don't get the zest from the spiciness of a tigar, right. but a, a similar warmness, like warm citrus, because right. citrus is still mm -hmm. there. Yep. It showed up for me just so like that makes that. sense. I totally get it. Like we we were we were here yeah. in that moment. Like it's right. almost like I knew what you were gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing. Um it makes total sense. But yeah, it seems like we're all pretty much in line with our thoughts for the most part on this one, even down to the rating. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty good stuff. So we'll we'll keep it pushing. I do see a super chat. I'd like to acknowledge it. I don't want him, this man to you know drop twenty bucks and me just not acknowledge it. Uh, Mr. Gumbo, aka Hot Grease. I love that name. I love every time I see it in my chat. <laughs> it's hilarious. What's good, Ross? Bro D. I'm going going to Duval to get your collection. LOL. And Randy, one hundred fire emojis galore. We'll keep that gumbo ready because <laughs> the Jags are coming to New Orleans, baby. So we finna handle that oh, business. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, it's gonna be a shit game, just like every other Saints game, w. whether it's a win or a loss. It's always a shit game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead, but welcome to the Sports Desk Podcast, oh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Gumbo, I appreciate the twenty dollars super chat. Thank you, sir. I'm that glad that I, I'm glad, Dedrick, that you have some kind of uh, hope for your team because I have no idea what the Steelers are gonna do. <laughs> well, we'll see y'all next weekend. Yeah, I have no, <laughs> I have no idea. weapons though. You got a lot of young talent as weapons. It's just is is Kenny going to be the answer to taking snaps? They'll yeah. be fine. Tomlin to have them all the way there to the end. Oh, I I agree. It's just you never know what week they're going to get that win and what week they're going to get that loss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's pretty much how it is with us because, uh, like I was saying it in my live stream yesterday, like. Car ain't the answer. We're going to be mediocre at best for the next, for the foreseeable future, you know. So who knows what the Saints will be down the road, but it's nothing special anytime soon. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. So next one, I think we're going to go. I just happened to grab Valentino Coral Fantasy. So this is one that Dedrick sent me. Yes, sir. I guess we'll give it a shot. We'll go ahead and roll with this one. I've never tried, I don't recall ever trying it. I okay. just, I just sold mine. 
Didn't like it? Ooh. No, it's because there's two other ones in the line that are worn in the exact same situation. And mm. I prefer Yellow Dream to Coral Fantasy. Well, we're going to be trying that one in a little bit, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny to say that. Spray my bottle Ooh, right now. This is oh, yeah. super juicy citrus. Oh, yeah. Oh, a big, big. What's With get? some spice, too. A lot of, a lot of, like, this smells more like grapefruit, like a pink grapefruit. Hmm. Interesting. For me, it's a, like a red candy apple. Yeah, big red apple. No, I get the sweetness from that, but like the sharpness to this, like this, whatever citrus is, is in here came across yeah. like a pink grapefruit to me. I really enjoyed this but stuff. But I definitely man. get a fruity, sweet apple smell. Oh, so yeah. Totally, yeah, that's, but there's a sharpness to it as well. I don't think, and I, when I say sharp and I don't mean crisp for those of you watching, there's a difference. Right. With sharp and crisp. I really it's like it. really fruity sweet. Oh, yeah. It's just getting started. <laughs> I was not anticipating fruity like this. Mm -hmm. The people who have that and love it on my channel, they are like obsessed with it. It's really good. Yeah, and I really enjoyed it too. It's just I only got rid of it for the reason I decided between that and Yellow Dream. And personally, I like the pineapple creamsicle mixture better. This is so... Like, I can see this being a compliment factory. Absolutely. For people. Absolutely. Like, oh my God, you smell so good. This is one of those types of openings. This it, is a this is a this is a fragrance counter seller. Yeah. And and for me, what it does, because the um the Valentino line, they kind of move around uh and, and and try to do slightly different things. It depends on what's the line. But the born in Roma, when I first smelled it, I didn't recall any big red apples and designers like that. I, I just don't recall one off the top of my head. Now, I know John Barbados XX has one in the black bottle, um, but uh, this one right here, it was just so. And it, um, this is like a Granny Smith apple almost. Yeah, yeah. It, I never smelled nothing like that in a designer before. Total difference the from the green apple because the green apples give you that crispness that I was just referencing yeah. a second ago. You get right. the, usually green apple is going to give you that. Yeah, but I'm not getting that here. It's like very sweet and juicy. Sweet, juicy candy apple. Yes. It's really good. Damn. All right. Let's pull these notes up. I'm loving the opening. I mean, I can see this being totally unisex too. I know there's a women's version, but I think this is I think this could have been released as a unisex. Yeah, version. yeah. Easy. Easy. My wife has the women's version and she prefers the men version over the women's. My daughter wears the mm -hmm. uh men's version to school. Mm -hmm. Will Will did wear the men's version to school every, a couple times. So it turns out the citrus I was getting was bergamot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So cardamom. So there's that little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. Clary sage, bourbon geranium, and some lavender. So loads of aromatics in the heart. Patchouli and tobacco. Really? Mm -hmm. Wait till it I continues have, to dry down. I would not have guessed that in the top. Yep. Wait till it continues to dry down. It's going to come out. All of the aromatics make sense. The difference here is I think I'm getting more cardamom geranium because there's almost like a minty tone to it. Absolutely. And it's not soapy. So Absolutely. I think the lavender and the clary sage aren't typical, like especially the lavender. I don't get soapiness from it. And yep. that could potentially be what's giving me this slight touch of powder that I'm getting off of my skin. Okay. Because I do get a little hint of powder. So main accord, sweet, synthetic, fruity, spicy, fresh. What do you guys think about this order? It's it's spot on. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say that's pretty right. I, it's for, spot on. For me, uh, the main three notes that I get is red apple way at the top, and it's there yeah, the well, entire fragrance pretty the much. entire fragrance, yeah. And then you have that cardamom providing the spice and then tobacco that comes in in the dry down. I really enjoy it. Really enjoy it. Well, I mean, the second I said I haven't smelled it, you're like, nope, not taking no for an answer. I'm sending it to you. Absolutely. <laughs> Damn, all right. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Damn. Yeah, this is this is bottle worthy right here. This and the genius ginger are both bottle. Y'all are going to cost me monies with this video is going to do. <laughs> That's what well, this you, video is going to accomplish. It's well, you know, what? I don't feel sorry. I don't feel sorry because throughout the years I've been watching you, you've cost me a ton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I agree this with This is fantastic. Andrew. Yeah, it's really I, good. I, I, now this may be blasphemy to some, uh -oh, but the opening is so good. Yep, this is a nine out of ten opening. I'm with you, man. Ooh. I'm with you. I, I had to get a full point over Ingenious Ginger. I'm Whereas you, I, I have a feeling if I, the full wearing experience, a whole day's wearing of both, sure. maybe they balance out closer because I think Ingenious yeah. Ginger would go up, and this might potentially set like they both, but they might both settle into around an eight and a half. Right. But the moral of this story is this is a phenomenal opening. 
Mm -hmm. This is this is one that I think would be a stud at fragrance counters. Mm -hmm. All the lady has to do is spray this on your hand and it's over. It's Not a, a test strip. Spray this on somebody's <laughs> hand and they're probably going to buy a bottle. It's Just a, a regular passersby that happens to stop. Yep. It's really good, man. It's phenomenal. It's yep. nothing crazy. It's not out the norm. It nope. feels like it's been done before, but nothing jumps out in my mind like, oh, this smells like this. Same here. And I, I challenge you, Ross, even when you think about it when we're done, if you can think of a designer fragrance that gives you that apple, I can't think of one. The closest I can think of with this type of fruity sweetness with a little bit of powder is like the original Polar Red, but it's not the same notes. Okay, okay. Like so, like as far as fruity with a touch of powder, like I'm getting now, similar like yeah. as far as accords, but not the same exact notes to create the accords. I got you. It's, it's kind of yeah. similar to that. That's what jumps out in my head. But outside of that, nothing really. It's the, it's the only one that I get kind of similar to it is the new Valentino Born in Roma. Um the intense it has almost pieces of every one in the line like to me it has it has pieces of the original it has pieces of vanilla uh, like the vanilla from yellow dream and then it has like a fruitiness like you get in coral fantasy yep that, that intense one it's really sweet though it's really sweet with that vanilla for sure this is too good like it's, <laughs> it's settling in nicely it's getting actually getting a little bit more powdery on my skin it could just be a skin chemistry thing for me okay but I love it. Yeah, it's great. I absolutely love this. It's great. This is the one to beat for me. Uh oh, we're hitting well, heavy early here. We there have six go. more. We have this, six more. Yeah, this I'm is actually the one not. To beat. I'm not surprised for you to say that, because um, a lot of people really do like it. Yeah, same around me. It's yeah. fantastic. It's How has really nobody good. told me before that you really need to try this? Like outside of having that conversation with Dedrick. <laughs> it was nobody's ever like really pressed me that i can remember because i get that i get you you guys know how it is you have people that watch it man sure. you should really try this you would really like it i don't recall and, and forgive me anybody watching if you have said it to me before but nothing's really jumping out in my mind outside of the recent conversation with you guys on dedrick's channel mm -hmm. it's amazing in it my opinion it's amazing. mostly because of the brand name because most people underrate valentino in general yeah yeah that's yeah. fair it's really well, good though. Well, I guess let's uh let's catch a few comments real quick and then we're going noir ombre from Issy Miyake. Man. Yeah, like I said the same thing about Yellow Dream. I was like, I can't believe nobody tried that. For me, Yellow Dream gives me the vibes of what you get from Coral Fantasy. Coral Fantasy never gave me that amazingness. I still to this day would give it an eight. It's just again, I got rid of it because my wife didn't like it and because it's I needed only one from the line that could be worn in that situation. I can tell you exactly <laughs> what happened with this online community with Yellow Dream. It got spice bomb night visioned. All it yes, takes it is, is yes, all it, it takes is. is prominent reviewers, larger reviewers, to say it's mediocre or anything that's not. Oh, it smells great, and you know I apologize to any viewers that are going to take this as an insult because it kind of is insulting. Too many people are too heavily influenced by people's opinions without trying it for themselves, yeah. and they write something off without even smelling it. Yeah. Yep. And that's that's really because I remember when Yellow Dream came out and that it got the Spice Bomb Night Vision EDT treatment. Quickly I always reference that fragrance because that's actually a pretty damn good fragrance if people would give it a chance. Mm -hmm. If you've ever liked anything Azaro wanted or Invictus, I don't know how you can not like it. But right. admittedly, it is the least enjoyable of the whole group, but it's still a good thing. But right. that's that's the prime poster child for it got night vision, basically. Like it's good. Nobody gave it a chance because a few see, people said it wasn't that great. I see. Yeah, see, I love it. Killer Kamikaze says Coral Fantasy smells like Snapple Apple. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. where I can What's see up? that. What's up, Hamzat? I can see that. Yeah, I'm so guys, I'm all over the place with, with the comments right now. So I apologize. I'll try to get caught up as best I can with you guys, but it's it's like I'm kind of skipping around, just trying to keep an yeah. eye on everything as best I can. Let's see. I agree. Rosha Sloan is solid. So that's a conversation going on in the chat. Okay. Lewis says, Ross, Randy Dedrick, got to catch that replay. Sin of the day is a hard off signature to back. Oh, he's nice. smelling great. Yeah, he's smelling real good. Yellow Dream and Coral Fantasy are likes for me during the spring. Okay. So Spencer's not in love with them. He enjoys them, but not as much as I'm raving about. <laughs> oh, here we go. Patrick said, Night Vision EDT gang. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> so I'm talking about gang, gang. So there's some people agreeing with me in the chat. I tried to word it as nicely as I can. Like, I'm not going to sit here and call people sheep and stuff like that. But 
kind of like if you don't try it for yourself, how do you really know? It's everybody's given an opinion. All three sure. of us could try the same fragrance and have three different opinions. Facts. You got to smell know, it for yourself. You got to try it for yourself, guys. I understand when we when we've you know had a lot of success trusting someone's opinion. But right. at the end of the day, you still, if it interests you in any way, you still got to give it a shot for yourself. Right. Yeah, I mean, see, you, look, you, may, look. you may differ how you land on it. I mean, see, look at Coral Fantasy. He loves it. You love it. I sold mine. So, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not that I don't like it. It's just I just didn't need it. So, I mean, just mm -hmm. make your decision for yourself. Take the ideas from the people that are trying to help you mm -hmm. and then try it for yourself. And if you don't like it, then you don't like it. Don't fight with somebody about it. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 because it's that's it's wild. Some of the stuff that happens in these forums and this internet community, yeah, it's wild, man. It's fragrances. It's not as serious as some people make it out to be. Don't get me wrong, we love it, but not make enemies over it. Kind of love it. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so Agreed. let's go ahead and get into Issy Noir Ombre. So here we go, Randy. I don't know if you realize how much you hyped me on this one. I, I love this fragrance. I don't agree fully. I remember the last uh, we were talking about how it smells like um, what was that fragrance? I can't remember Vanilla now. Oud. Vanilla Oud. So it has pieces of it, but I saw the comment from that person earlier. We never said it smells exactly. It's there's pieces of it. In right. It. Yeah. Not saying it smells like it. Yeah. yeah. Rob, Rob, you, you, would have to, you would have had to catch the stream to really have the context. You know? right, yeah. right, right. Like the little bit I said doesn't really give you the full context of what actually was said but right right there it is pull out the credit card oh shit <laughs> really <laughs> that is so animalic and spicy it's good this Wait is till... a wow kind of fragrance right uh -oh. here oh shit so there goes Coral this, Fantasy. Yeah, Coral Fantasy just got bumped. Really <laughs> this, look, I'm not going to sit here and say it's a 10, but it's at least a 9.5. This opening, if you like leather, spices, animalic, stuff like that, wow. Very masculine. And well, to me, it just gets better. That, right. Yeah, this is just the initial few seconds yeah. in, you know? No wonder it was so hyped. I missed the boat. I missed the boat. Because <laughs> it's like 150 is the cheapest I've seen on eBay on up to two something. <laughs> yeah, I love it. All genre that, Bob says RP Coral Fantasy. We hardly knew you. <laughs> <laughs> They're wildly different, though. That's a great balance of collection right there. Fruit sure, fresh, absolutely. Mass feeling. And then this is that fragrance you wear to an event or in the evenings or something absolutely. like that. Dress and you want to step out a bit, you know? Yeah. Dress so, up a bit. wait, all genre was saying that because I think Coral Fantasy is discontinued now. Is it? I, I well, how not, new is that comment? If it just happened, if that comment just yeah, no, that comment just happened. So he did it right after I said this because it was not in my altas anymore. They removed it and replaced it with the intense in my altas. I don't know if that's the case. It's I still could in just my be, it's still in my local dealers. Okay, it's then, then, then it's then it's still there. It's it was still in there two weeks ago when I was in there. <sighs> so it's smoothing over a little bit. It's pretty rough. Uh -huh. It's rough around the edges in the opening, but I love that about it. It grabs you. Yes, it's, it does. It's it very, very edgy in the top. And it's smoothing over a little bit. A bit. It's warming up more. Not that it wasn't warm in the dish opening spray, but it's warm. It's a little ambery. And is there sandalwood in here? Yeah, I believe so. There it, uh, it, is either it's sandalwood creamy, or kayak wood. Let me it's check. It's like a creamy wood nuance. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up right now. Okay. Um, just one off the top. Of the I, I'm pretty sure, yes, that the sandalwood... I, I remember it was either sandalwood and cedar or sandalwood and guyac wood. It was so something spicy, like spicy oriental, sweet, woody, leathery. So you have Haitian vetiver, cedar, nutmeg, cedar. The creaminess I'm getting might be the vanilla tonka bean, and the sharp woody tone is clearly the cedar. Nutmeg will give a woodiness to it as well, but it's not as dry as I would think for nutmeg being in the top. Hmm. I get I get a bit more dryness on my skin. It's dry, but it's not like there's other things I've smelled that are drier than that recently. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's why I say that. But now that I'm looking at this note breakdown, I remember we pulled it up in the live stream the other day on Dedrick's channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the reason I, I was thinking about it. Said, Holy shit. Whenever mm -hmm. I did my first initial initial review on it, the reason I said, huh, is because I said sandalwood in my first impression, but then I looked up for my full review and it was cedar. Because there's a there's a an underlying creamy tone to it. That's why I guessed sandalwood. Because it's woody, I smell wood, yeah. a woody note, 
but there's a little bit of a, a soft, creamy feel to it. So naturally, the I thought think that, of that amber and vanilla probably has something to do with colliding with the spices in there. That's giving it that that that. Sl- I think I get a slight creaminess on my skin as it starts to dry down. This but is so true. good. No, really it doesn't. Good. It does not smell like vanilla oud. Do you get? But it definitely it? has the vibe. This one does too. <clears throat> Oh Jesus! Stop it! I'm gonna have to do that one next. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all sent some bangers. My God, we're three for three right now. The the ratings just keep climbing. Okay, this is impressive. I definitely missed the boat. Anybody that's got it in the chat, please comment. I'll try to catch your comments. What do you think about this one? Is did it grab you the first time you sprayed it? Like it's grabbing me? I have Very sent good. it to four people so far, and they all pretty much had the an, a reaction that you did. It's it's such such an impressive scent. Like the ratings, like there's a similar feelings here because it's got a, quite a bit of ratings, and it's above an eight. So I mean that's pretty impressive overall. Um, my rating is going to be a little bit higher than that, obviously, but that's just a personal thing for me with my particular way I rate things. But I think this is the, I think this matches the nine out of ten of Coral Fantasy. I don't think I'm quite ready. The opening nine point five. The immediate okay. blast is like, holy shit, this is great. And I'm not saying it got any less great. It just didn't It didn't continue to be like, oh, my God, it's, it's like one of the best things I've ever smelled. Because I want to try to keep that 9.5 and that 10 in the highest of regards that I can. Right. And I don't want to throw it around just because I'm really liking something in the moment. I don't want to just throw the 9.5 at it because for the longest time, that's kind of been my 10s. Right. Yeah. So, But it's every bit of a 9. I also get a slight root beer vibe from it. I don't know why I just always have, I, I get like this almost like underneath it. I get, I don't know why I get it. I just kind of do. That's fair. That's fair. I see what you mean. Yeah. It's, I, 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 I it's always underneath it. It's not the fragrance. It's just, I don't know if you're even at that point yet. It's just, I get a slight root beer vibe and I don't know why I get it. There's no, so, uh, sassafras so it or went- anything. It went from very edgy to super smooth. Yep. Mm-hmm. Big, big transition. Quickly. Big yep. transition. I'm kind of surprised. Yep. I yeah, was waiting for you if you were gonna. I was waiting if that you were gonna say that. Yeah, yeah I think me. Amazing. I think in Dedrick's live, me and Dedrick were talking about how it transitions very quickly. Yes, very fast. So I get the hype now because I kept hearing everybody talking about how great this was in the chat and on comments and stuff like that. It's really and I good. Just, I, you know, that happens more often than not. And it's unless there's got to be something to really spark my interest mm-hmm. to make me because I'm blind by shit all the time. I mean, hell, tomorrow I got a, seven fragrances coming in Oh boy, uh, that I bought from fragrance. But I'm always buying some fragrances. I'm regretting this one now because I don't want to pay you know 200 bucks for this when it was like, what, 60 bucks you paid, yeah. Randy? Yeah, sixty-eight. Man, see when I when I know that they want sold for that, I can't make myself spend two hundred on it. No, oh, no, I just can't. I'll just I have enough fragrances. It's not so serious that I must have it at all costs. But this is plenty to enjoy it, and God knows how long it'll take me. This is like what five ml. Yeah. yeah. This God knows how long it'll take me. To and get I'll be a hundred. My, my decans do not dissipate. All of the ones that I've made myself have been in two years and not even a drop are gone. I've got several from you. I, I know yeah. that none of them have spoiled over the last like yeah. year and a half or so that you sent me some decans. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is fantastic. We're going to hold it a nine. So we got an eight and two nines. Good stuff. So far. I, I, and look, y'all said such glaringly wonderful things about these. that I don't think we're going to have any subpar. Among the rest of these, uh, I think we're looking at very good at minimum for most of these, which for those of you who don't know, seven, 7.5. That's very good in my rating system. Yeah. I would still say that this one might be your lowest. I was sending it to you more about the ISO E. I don't know though. I, I like we're it. We're going to do that one I next. Just, I just don't know what you think <laughs> about it. We're going to, we're going to do that one next. So guys, this is Lamal Ofresh. This is the Andre edition is the bottle. He just showed you guys. I've always liked the bottle. I've seen people, put it in center of the day post. I've just never tried it. Any of the O'Freshes, Popeye, Superman, this one, none of them. That's ones I missed the boat on. I didn't and get most really people, into the Lamals until late in the game. Most people think that the they're just limited edition bottles. They're actually different fragrances. Different fragrances. This one is the one that contains the ISO E. So it lasts longer. It lasts about 10 hours on your skin. Oh, wow. An O'Fresh that's a beast. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, at least in longevity. That's familiar. Is there orange blossom? Yeah. It smells like it immediately. Oh, wait. Uh, neroli, neroli, neroli. So it's some kind of white yeah, orange neroli, flower. Yeah, neroli. Yeah. So it's, it's an orange flower smell. It's citrus, neroli. Um, you were saying orange blossom, and in, in my head, I'm thinking parfums to Marley all day year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, that the more that dried yesterday, the more I was like, yeah, I'm not buying a bottle of this. Like for those of you that saw the live stream yesterday, like it, the greatness in that one is the opening. I do like the opening, but the problem is the opening super redundant to some stuff I have. I, I I don't like the fragrance. I mean, it's not that I don't like it. It's that I don't. I would rather buy Club Black most wanted parfum things that are in that same vibe that are under a hundred dollars. I just, I wouldn't, it's, it's not, even if it get, even if I could get a 75 ml for 150, I don't, it, at least now I don't think I'd buy it. Not that you can get it anywhere close to that right now, but yeah. I don't even think I'd pay that, which would be a phenomenal price for a 75 ml PDM. You should watch the end of my full review. I said, even if I can get a 75 milliliter on Joma shop for 150, I don't know if I would. Are you shitting me? That's exactly what you <laughs> no, said that's too. That's exactly what I said. God, this is getting scary, Randy. We we're on the same way. I swear that, I didn't hilarious. see that. I swear I didn't see that. No, I believe you. You don't really watch my vids. I don't really watch videos no, I, either. Yeah, I watch the live streams. <laughs> yeah. Because I know if I watch your videos, it's probably on some shit I'm planning on getting because you're a new release guy. Yeah, I always tell people, I'm like, sorry, I don't watch your videos. I don't watch videos. I watch live streams. I have too much going on in my life to watch videos. So my sensitivity to this one's changing quickly. Um because it smells like it's fading, and I know it's not the fragrance. So I'm what? getting some oh. anosmia issues with it. No. Yeah, this one lasts on me for 10 hours, but no, I mean. I know it's me. It's yeah. me. There's no way it lasts five minutes. No. <laughs> it's 30 minutes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Oh, fresh. Dedrick, you have any experience with this one? No. Nope. Never smelled it ever. Never smelled it. It's. Wow. Only two ratings, but it's 9.5 out of 10. How's it only got two ratings? Hmm. Oh, maybe know. it's the other listing. Yeah, just the other one. Well, listing. no, because th this one has the ISOE, so it's a different fragrance. Oh, yeah. So, no, there's no airlines. So, it's just this one. Well, this this pains me. Oh, uh, Fragranica. I typed that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It's just fresh, clean, sweet, but also has that ISO E underneath it to provide like a dry woodiness to it. I know it's on there. I've seen it on there. This top one. Aromatic vanilla green, amber, woody, aldehydic. I definitely get aldehydes. That makes sense. Fresh, spicy, fresh, powdery, sweet. That's quite the jumbling of accords. Yeah, it has some mint in, it, in there, too. The mint's actually the most prominent thing I smell. Yep, in the opening, for sure. It's pretty highly rated, it seems. 4.14. Yeah, mint, aldehydes, neroli. So that's definitely what I got right away was the neroli. Amber sage, geranium, clary sage, woody notes, vanilla, tonka bean, isoe super, and sandalwood. So loads of aromatics and brightness, freshness, sweetness, and then woods. It dries down to more of like an ambery vanilla sandalwood within, like I, like I, I said, like now. Yeah, the vanilla and mint are in the opening with some neroli. That neroli starts to dissipate, which I'm thinking you're at right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get more of like a vanilla and sandalwood with the ISO E underneath. I'm getting a lot of vanilla right now. Like I'm surprised at how much because I didn't get any right away. And it's so weird how fresh it is for a vanilla scent. It, it very much reminds me of Lamal Summer 2013 that I have. It's very similar. It smells like fresh Lamal. That's pretty much what yeah. I get here. It smells like fresh Lamal. Never tried that one, but I could understand what you mean. Most of the Lamal fresh ones smell very similar. I wonder if anybody else is saying that. No, they're saying the other Ofreches. I do get the Chanel, the one that they just had there, the Chanel and the Mandarina Duck. That does have sim similar vibes. So Mandarina Duck and then Chanel Lorum. Oh, Extreme, yeah, I could see that. That makes sense. But I just want to compare the notes. There's more the of note. a green, green edge to it, though. So let's go 2013. 
you notice very similar accords minus the aldehydes. So not the same note breakdown, but a lot of the same basic notes. This is just greener overall. Yeah, and Lamal usually relies on like three notes anyway. So under mint vanilla, that's the base DNA, basically. Yeah. yeah. So it's good, but I, it's like it smells like most Lamals. Yeah, that's why I wanted you to get it out of the way. I was just sending it to because yeah. that's the ISO E that I have in mind. It's not bad. Like I'm not overrun with ISO E Super. It's not like a Dior Rome 2020 or anything like that. Where it's, or or even Montebacco Verano. That's loads of ISO E Super. Surprisingly, yeah. I love that fragrance. It's it's a bomb. See, it's I haven't tried nice. those. I would give this one a seven. This is very much a very good seven out of ten fragrance. But if you have other versions of Lamal, you have the you know the basis of this scent profile, and it's pretty redundant. The bottom. I just like it because it's in the realm of Armani Code Colonia, Prada Lome Water Splash, where you can wear that. it in that type of situation. Like it's a spring sweet, but also slightly powdery fragrance that's fresh and you can wear it in the spring that's the, the i did that's when i like to wear it i do like it but it, it reminds me so much of lamal summer 2013 the one yeah. i have i feel like it would be crazy redundant the difference i can tell is this is more on the powdery side mm -hmm. and then i had that quick hit of aldehydes but aside from that it's pretty similar it smells like fresh lamal you know it's it, which is great i love lamal's dna yeah seven out of ten it's still very good it's just very redundant for me Let's get the one. Let's get the one of Dedrick's. Which one are we doing for yours, Dedrick? I'll let the man choose. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I think we should go Yellow Dream now, since that was kind of the part of the topic of discussion earlier. Looking, for, looking forward to this one. So let's see. Let me skip down a little bit. So I see Kyler doing his hype man thing for the membership. I appreciate you, Kyler. Hit that like button, y'all. Hit the Ooh, like. Let them know. Let them know, guys. <laughs> Wait, what happened, Randy? You sprayed something? What was no, that? I was trying to blind grab it, and I grabbed the right one. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering because I saw you go, ooh, thought because something I, happened. I almost knocked over my uh, my Aventus cologne. I've been hunting down a bottle of Ombre Noir at a decent price for over three months now. I'm talking about Mikey. Oh, no, our Ombre. Yep. Yeah. Best of luck. I got my decant from Randy, but there you go. Yeah, the, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's Shout absolutely out to Randy, man. <laughs> I got to say, both of the first two are freaking phenomenal. Mm. And Genius Ginger has become much more ginger. Mm -hmm. Like way more. It's dominantly ginger. Still fresh, though. You don't get the vanilla? That, not much. Not as much as you would think. Hmm. I get a little bit, but it's mostly ginger, which hmm. is a good thing for me. I yeah. love ginger. I said why, yeah. That apple is still there with yep. Coral Fantasy, but it's it's toned back. It's not like punching you in the face with a Granny Smith apple like it was before. Did he get a little and dirty? It's a little darker, yeah. It's yep. a little darker, but it doesn't mm -hmm. distinctively smell like tobacco to me. Right. Like I can't be like, ooh, tobacco. Like right. It, it's not that distinctive to me. I know that's what it is. Right. But it doesn't specifically smell like it to me. So now, here, here. Got to work Weed. my way down my forearm, so we're gonna go on this side. The wrist. I'm gonna spray mine now because I can't wait to see this. Well, that's a bad atomizer on that one. Give me a water gun effect. Really? <laughs> it's, it's running. Yeah. That's all down my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens. Ooh. Oh yeah. Is that Ambroxan? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like some ambroxan and fruitiness. Mm. I actually it was super pleasant though. Sandalwood mm -hmm. this time, isn't it? It's super pleasant. It's not as sweet. This is fresher. But I get what Randy's saying about the similarity though. Like they're not far apart. Yeah, well, well, there's a note that's going to show up that I get that when we pull up the notes, I can't wait to see your reaction to this one particular note that's in there. It's sweet, fruity, but very fresh. That's why I immediately thought Ambroxan. It kind of has a little bit of, and it could be in there even if it's not listed. But sure. You're watching, you never know when Ambroxan's in a fragrance. They don't necessarily always tell you the full formulas, a la three and four fragrance note breakdowns. That's not really the note breakdown, guys. No, it's not. This is a little bit spicier okay. than Coral Fantasy to me as well. Mm -hmm. I know what you're getting at, Dedrick. Yeah, I know you do. 
<laughs> Let's see. It comes off my skin. I will let I'll let my guy read it. Not yet. See if he thinks. So before I look up at it, there's nothing there to see. Oh no! <laughs> what happened? I typed "yellow dream." There we go. All right, now back to looking down. Mm-hmm. It's sweet. It's a little woodsy. There's a zest, like almost spice-like smell to it. It smells like some kind of spice. Okay. It's one word that you haven't mentioned that. And I... it's a little synthetic. That's that's pretty much it. Fresh and fruity, like okay. whatever you're looking for. Apparently, I'm not finding or not getting to it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's take a pineapple. No, I don't distinct. It smells fruity, wow. but not distinctive pineapple to me. Wow. Not to me. Not to me. That's not distinctively. Surprising. Okay. Fruity, sure. Like I'm getting more. Honestly, I would think the orange more than the pineapple on me. I could see that. That might be why I'm not distinctively getting pineapple because, uh, yeah, it's not jumping out. Not where it's like, ooh, pineapple fragrance. <laughs> you don't get a slight. Could be me. You don't get a slight gourmand feel. No, no not really. That Lam- that Lamal wore you out. It could. <laughs> I think you sprayed it over top of the Lamal, didn't you? No, no. So Lamal's up here. I sprayed down here. Oh, gotcha. So I'm going to have to do that. I'm doing eight, so i got to work my way around my arms. Yeah, Tetric. I'm not getting I'm not getting as much of that. Tetrick, pineapple yeah. upside down cake? Yes, I get a pineapple upside down cake that represents that gingerbread note. Yeah. That gingerbread note. I get more of a cookie than cake smell. Okay, so I was just that would make more sense to me. Yeah. So a ginger snap. Yep. Like a a little ginger snap cookie. I could see that. Yeah. Yeah, but like pineapple upside down cake. I think of fragrances like Latafa's Honor and Glory for something. Something like that smells like pineapple upside down cake to me. Whereas this more like seeing gingerbread and everything that makes a lot of sense because I do get a little bit of a cookie vibe. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of like a cookie. Right, that's um, yeah. But pineapple, mint, Italian mandarin, orange, gingerbread, cedarwood, vanilla, absolute. Mm-hmm. So and you so got to remember, guys. So you, those of you watching, you see, there's like, really, you don't get this? No, this is what I get. This is exactly what we're talking about. Subjectivity. A few minutes ago, your skin and the way you perceive with your nose are going to be very individualistic. Some people share a lot of the same things. That right. they get and they smell, but there's always those situations where it's no, nah, this kind of comes up. I'm getting more of this off of my skin. This is the prime example. I wanted to stop and point that out for you guys. This is why we encourage sampling so much. Don't just take our opinions to heart. Try it for yourself, please. Yes, absolutely. Very subjective when it comes to fragrance. But on my skin with a yellow dream, mm-hmm. I get the combination of both the orange and the pineapple mm-hmm. um, comes off my skin. But then as it starts to dry down, um, the first couple of times I didn't get it. But I remember one day I was wearing it just around the house. I was just mm-hmm. wearing it around the house, and then it hit me. And I said, there's some gar- something lightly gourmandish going on. So I was like a ginger snap, like a ginger snap or a ginger uh, bread cookie. Um, That's what started to come across my nose. Yeah, that makes sense to me with the gingerbread cookie for sure. Yeah. Distinctively. Uh, it's like a 7.5 very good to me. I don't okay. like it near as much as Coral Fantasy. Right. I, like yeah, I think Coral Fantasy. Fantasy is the one. And see, I found that a lot of people are one side or the other. They Mm -hmm. usually like one or the other. For me, it's Yellow Dream. Yellow Dream was one of the first fragrances I had in my collection before I started my channel. I even have like my name engraved in it all. I I love it. Damn, so you bought it from Valentino. Yeah. I, I, I love I love Yellow Dream. Okay. It's synthetic and I understand yeah, that. Yeah, it's but, definitely synthetic. But but I I, I cool. really I really enjoy it. My my wife, it's in her top five uh fragrances that I own. It's really, really good. It's it's me, honestly, it's w- more one of my cozy fragrances around the house. Yeah. When it's cold and I'm a I'm the guy who's walking around the house randomly with hoodies on. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm in sleeveless today because uh, I was in a hoodie because I'm at the gym in a hoodie. So when I get right. home, I don't want to wear it. Right you know? now, late in the evenings, the colder it gets, that'll be a different story. But Right. Right. So, Spencer, I'm assuming that means you renewed. I still don't know what this means when it lights up green and shows how long you've been members for. I think that's when they renew in the live stream. But five months strong. Hey, Ross, I'm rocking H24 EDP. 
Have you got your bottle yet? I'm still trying to find out which is my favorite, the EDT or the EDP, but both great fresh fragrances. The EDP is my scent of the day. Welcome back once again, Spencer. And yes, I've actually, did I do a full review on it? Mm -hmm. I know I've seen a few videos, but I think I did a full review as well on H24 EDP. I definitely did on the EDT. Uh, pretty sure I have reviews on both of them. But yeah, I'm a big fan. Uh, the Oak Moss really gives it some depth that not necessarily was missing from the EDT. I really love that DNA. Yeah. Uh, I'm very impressed with the route they chose, kind of yes. kind of the Gucci the Gucci cookie cutter mold where it's just yep. get outside the box and don't so follow different. the trend. So different. Designing you got to have brands that are not following the trend. Yeah, it's definitely designing. So I love how that rosewood uh, really plays down in the dry down of that EDP. It's phenomenal, man. Yeah, it's so much darker than the EDT, but still smells the EDT. You still, yeah, the yeah, yeah, DNA yeah. is there. Yeah. It's clearly H24. Yes. Randy, any thoughts? Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> See, everybody's different. <laughs> everybody's different. <laughs> to each their own. To and there you own. have it's it. All good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Shit happens. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stick down. with my Osha Ray, and that's about as far as I'll go with Hermes. Okay. Hey, it, I can't say you're picking the wrong one. Yeah, that's a damn good one, Randy. So, <laughs> hey. Yeah. Great choice, you know? Yeah, for sure. So, let me scroll down a little bit more, find a decent stopping point. Mikey Dinsmore is in the house, 499 Super Chat. I appreciate you, Mikey. Shout I want Mikey. Ross's hat. Just has the wrong letter. B is needed. So, I'm not, I don't have any Red Sox hats. I'm not a Red Sox guy, but I am. this was uh, from a pre-order from about – like five years ago from Hat Club uh, was their desert sand collection. And the contrast in color was this baby pink. So it has a little custom pin that came with it and everything. Nice. You were going to Randy? No, I was born in Boston. I went to Boston every summer for the last 13 years. So I'm a Red Sox fan. Red Sox fan. I have nothing against them. Um, when it comes to baseball <clears throat> outside of the Astros and the Braves, that's the two teams I grew up. That's my teams because I don't have a home team. They didn't have one in Louisiana. Outside of that, it's a logo thing and color yeah, scheme thing. You're a logo guy. Yeah, I'm a logo guy when it comes to baseball hats through and through. I mean, logos overall, but I try to be much more selective when it comes to like football and stuff like that. Avalanche, uh, Dolphins, the uh, Marlins, they're they're all fantastic. The old Marlins, like you said, I love that one. Yeah, the Florida Marlins logo, yeah. the F with the Marlin. That's one of the greatest logos in sports yeah, history. Yeah, timeless logo, man. You've seen that in every color possible. Yeah, I got I got about twenty hats with it. Yeah, yeah especially I, I living it. down here in Florida, man. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been stepping up my Rays hats game. They're, so they're that's actually here. tomorrow's video. They're right over my shoulder. Four of the seven are, are Rays hats. I've seen a bunch of Rays stuff in uh, <laughs> TJ Maxx the other day. Just I everywhere. think of you every time I go to the TJ Maxx over here because there's always loads of Jaguar gear. Oh yeah, loads of it. How Jaguar symbol is pretty tight too. Yeah, how about but it? I can't I can't root for them though. Like outside of having my AFC teams, I'm. I'm I'm saying if I, I mean, through and through, I'm Saints, but I grew up enjoying the Ravens. Like, that's always been my secondary, my BT, I guess you could say. So I'm a Ravens. I'm a Ravens guy. I know Steelers fans. Yeah. I know Steelers fans. Yeah. I know Steelers fans. Yeah. Steelers fans and Ravens fans aren't like Steelers and Browns fans. Steelers and Ravens fans, they appreciate the other team. Just, Just your respect. Such a great yeah. rivalry. Such yeah. a great rivalry. Yeah. It's not like how nasty the Saints and Falcons rivalry is. That's a nasty yeah. rivalry. Like Suggs, if he if him and Lewis were playing, they wanted Ben to play against them. Oh yeah, but, they wanted yeah. the best from the Steelers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was like watching a mini Super Bowl twice a year. Yeah, exactly. I loved yeah. it. Man, shout yeah, out to T Sizzle, man. That was my guy. Gotta <laughs> love T Sizzle. Absolutely. Yeah, man. <laughs> but Ray Lewis is my second favorite player of all time behind Dion. That was, dog, that was my, that's my two guys, defensive players of all things. Yeah. <sighs> Troy Polamalu is my favorite defensive player. <laughs> I love hearing Pat McAfee talk about him. The little story. <laughs> Palamalu. You know. Yeah. Pat McAfee grew up, apparently, I don't know. He's what a house, but guy. like Yeah, from like three minutes away from me. Same with uh, Joe Montana and Dan Marina. <laughs> right, around, right around the corner, Randy. <laughs> right around the corner. I, there's, there's, there's a bridge two streets away from me that's called uh, Joe Montana Bridge. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you live right next to the monument. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going stronger with you, Ood, next. Okay. The only one I have not tried maligned. This to me, this to me is like Virtue's Vanilla Ood meets Strong with You Intensely. Oh, boy. That sounds God. amazing. Yeah. I haven't smelled my decan yet, so here we go. 
That reminds me of the oud from Boss Bottled Oud. Not even close to real oud, synthetic, mass appealing kind of stuff. And there's no funk to it. There's more of an astringence. Yeah, it doesn't have an oud really smell to it. And yeah, I hate that you say that because I hate Boss Bottled Oud. I, and I understand. I get yeah. it. But that's the oud, it, the kind of oud it reminds yeah. me of. I would think this is a little bit better quality oil, but still not real oud, obviously. Right. But I don't understand where people are getting off saying this smells just like strong with you leather. Uh, I never smelled that, so I don't. I know. don't think they smell identical to one another. Like I've been led to believe, if I was to read opinions on the internet and take them to heart, I, I don't think they're that similar. Sure, because they're both strong with you flankers. They're in a line where they tie to the DNA the right way. But I don't get a leather accord here. See, for me, I got this in about five days before I got in my decant of Virtus Vanilla Oud. So when I got this, Woods, and then turns into a Woody mm -hmm. Vanilla, mm -hmm. I got in Virtus Vanilla Oud, and I was just like, man, I don't even need to wear this anymore because Virtus Vanilla Oud is just way better. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> this yeah. smells great. Let me, I don't want to yeah. – let me preface what I'm about to say with I'm really digging this. I'm going to get a bottle. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to try it first, Randy, because yeah. most of the line I sampled before I bought them. Because right. I've heard about it. Because if you trust everybody on the internet, they're all redundant. If you have one, you have all. That's bullshit. That's not um, true. But when we're talking vanilla oud, a lot of you watching know where I stand on that. That's one of that's a Mount Rushmore fragrance for me. Right. Like we did the blue fragrance Mount Rushmore tag. If I was to cut my top five down to four, that makes it. That's a it's that good to me. Like yeah, it's it's, it's hard for me to. Well. Anytime somebody in the chat says they're wearing that for the day, it's like, all right, you're the guy to beat. Like I rate, I give a little playful, you know, you're the best smelling guy in the chat thing every live stream. And anytime that comes up, it's like, you're the one to beat. And I don't know who's going to be able to beat you. Yeah, it's, it's top you know? five for sure. <clears throat> yeah, for me, it would be right outside. But and it's that's close. Fair. I would replace that. But for me, I really like, I've loved Herod since I got it. And so that mm -hmm. for me, even though, I think together the quality of Virtues Vanilla Oud is better than Herod. I, I just like the type of smell that Herod is, so I have Herod in my top five. Yeah, Herod is Yeah, great. no, you, when, when we're talking something this serious, like your top four or yeah. five overall, quality of the scent's irrelevant. It's how much do you enjoy it. How right. much do you love How it? much does yeah. it make you happy to smell it, basically, yeah. is what it comes down to. Yes. So I do – it's not as spicy as some of the other flankers. I do understand why people tie it to leather because of the animalic smell it has. But mm -hmm. even then, like the strong with you leather flanker is a softer leather accord than it is animalic. Right. So I don't really understand the relation. But as it stands alone, there's an argument for this being the best one. Really? I, I have it as my number two. There's an argument for it. Wow. I don't think I would give it number one. I think I still keep absolutely on the kink as the top of the mountain. Man, that's so good, man. It almost but brings it's a tear to my eye. pretty damn close, man. It brings a tear to my eye, I think. Uh, about both it. of y'all are absolutely guys. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, that makes my sense. number one. Number two is this. And then past that, I honestly don't care. Well, my number two, believe it or not, Original. was Amber. No, was Amber. And then yeah. Intensely. When I got Amber, Intensely got bumped. I still love the original. Oh, Amber bores good. me. Really? Yeah. I mean, just, I want to say you've told me that before. Yeah, I it love bothers it. me. That's one of my favorite. That's why you don't like the releases this year. That goes in the pile of why you said it was a disappointing 2023. Yeah. And see, it's one of my favorite releases of the year. That'll be in my final 10 at the end of the year. You know that YSL myself is really growing on me. I, I At first, I wasn't sure, but I mean, that, that, that is kind of getting up there. And Lamal Elixir is climbing down the charts for me. Really? Yeah, oh. because I do not like, and this is for people who watch my channel, you guys know, I don't like strong fragrances. I've Very never, true. I don't like to be the center of attention in a room. I want to smell good if somebody is within two feet of me, but outside of that, I don't care. And so I was waiting till the cold weather to try it. I sprayed it on the other day and it fills up a room with one spray. And so I, I, monster. I like the smell. My wife does not want me to wear it. So I, I'm, I'm probably going to end up either keeping my bottle just for reviews, but I'm not wearing it. Randy, everything you just said about how you feel about performance is the real, that's the purpose for it. It's all fragrances are meant to be discovered, not, not announce you're here, announce yes. your presence. Everybody wants like they've romanticized this beast mode craziness. And in certain situations, sure. 
But sure. that's certain situations, not every day of your life or most days right. of your week. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand how people want just these crazy strong fragrances all the time. You guys have heard me talk about my wheelhouse. Let me get six to eight hours and let me get arms reach for like an hour, hour and a half. And then a sillage where once in a while I make a move and it hits me to remind me it's there. I don't have to yeah. go looking for it. Exactly. Let me get that. And that's like perfect for me. Not real strong, not real weak. Doesn't have to last all day. I don't, EQ said it best. I don't plan on being most places for more than six or seven hours anyway. Yeah. Right. If now, anybody if ever you, asked, oh, go, go ahead, ahead. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. If somebody ever asked me what the perfect fragrance as far as projection and performance is for me, it's why I sell Wiley Parfum. Beautiful. I get a lot of longevity out of that one, though. Yeah, but I get the longevity, but I get wafts of it. It's not but abrasive. It's not abrasive, yes. No, exactly. it's way smoother than the other ones. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the, the EP gets cloying. The EDT, if you're not in the right mood for it, it's annoying because it's so vibrant and bright with aldehyde. It's great, but you got to be in the mood for it. Yeah. And the EDP is just so powerful and sweet that I would advise not wearing that in heat and stuff like Like, I will not wear Y-EDP in the heat. Right. Uh, there's other ones for that. But I'm with you. The Le Parfum, it's it's almost like the perfect blue fragrance in many ways outside of the you know the king of all blues of Buddha Chanel Parfum. Absolutely. But I had to throw that in there so Dedrick didn't get mad. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but as far as stronger with you, Oud, this goes back to don't believe these three note no breakdowns. Those of you watching, oud vanilla lavender, sure. Yeah. That there's whatever synthetic oud oil, vanilla oil, and lavender oil is indeed here. But if you look at these accords of spicy, gourmand, woodsy, oriental, sweet, you wouldn't necessarily believe sweet, oriental, spicy, and gourmand from seeing these three notes. So there's a lot more going on here because I definitely get the cinnamon that cinnamon spice that's kind of tied to all of them in the line, even if they don't list it, it's in every single one of them, even only in freeze, um, the fresher two. Right. It, it's, it's, it's really good, but it's not like wowing me like absolutely did. Like, I don't know if they can top it. Cause I, I can almost, I can almost bet money that we're getting strong with you elixir next year. Yeah. For me, probably. the entire, yeah, probably. For me, the entire line is pretty much like it's good, but it doesn't wow me. And then absolutely came out and I'm like, yeah, OK. Absolutely. That's the thing. I really like all of them. Like this is another eight out of ten. It's okay. great, but it's not like I wouldn't call this better than like it didn't affect me the way Coral Dream did. It didn't affect <laughs> me the, the just enjoyment of Ingenious Ginger for as simple and fresh as that comes across on my skin. It's just it's a joy to smell. So it's it gets a higher rating, um, but this is I mean an eight out of ten is nothing to shake a stick at. It's just I'm going to be a little bit more critical because it's part of one of my favorite designer lines and DNAs, and there's some that I hold in very high regard already in this line, yeah. and this is the last of the Mohicans that I had not tried yet, and I've heard these wonderful things about, and I'm not saying anybody's wrong with that. I do think it's really really good. It's just not the best of the house, or I mean of the line, not house, but best of the line to me i think it it makes the top three though no, that's I, fair. I, I do think because it's Man. probably the most different in the line that's what bumps it over intensely because there's a lot of redundance to absolutely with intensely it's basically you take intensely tone the sweetness back a hair and put some rum you have absolutely for the most part and you get that that <laughs> nuttiness back in absolutely too that intensely doesn't have yeah yeah, yeah. For this it, a little for bit me, of that this one, the it, you take the intensely, you dial the vanilla down all the way, and then you add in some woods and oriental spices on top of it, and that's what this fragrance is. I love that's, oriental that's, spices. That's pretty good. I like the way you describe that, Randy. That's pretty accurate. I love oriental around. spices, man. Yeah. Same. Yeah, it's, it's really good. I think it's absolutely an 8 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> Ab I can't wait pun to try it. Pun, in pun unintended for saying absolutely. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. So you haven't tried it yet? No, I have Randy sent me a decan, so I'm sitting on it because I also Randy's have, good for that. Randy likes to send decan. Yeah, he showed me a lot of love, but I also have the Alexandria version of the Stronger with You Oud. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how those two kind of go at it a little bit. Danish Turtle Man one with an interesting name with the 99 cent super sticker. I appreciate you. Thank you very Danish much. Turtle Man. Danish Turtle <laughs> what Man. What a name, huh? That's funny. <laughs> so Kyler says absolutely is a 12 out of 10. 
Yeah, Absolutely. Man, I, I get emotional love, thinking about it. Love, love <laughs> the rating scale, Tyler. <laughs> it's the giants of fragrances. Is that because if you hear it from Kyler, Dedrick will tell you the giants oh. are a 12 out of 10. Oh, yeah, they definitely are. <laughs> <laughs> All genres, Bob says the Nets, the Yankees, and the Jets, and we don't do hockey over here. <laughs> <laughs> so he's talking about his favorite teams. I don't do hockey over here. That's the only sport where I have one team I root for, one team I own apparel for. Avalanche. That's it. And I started rooting for them the first time I came to Colorado like 10 years ago. But you were saying, Randy? No, I was just going to say I love the logo for the Avalanche. I fell in love with that team outside of the Penguins because of Forsberg and Sackick. And then ever since then, I've been watching the Avalanche. Like outside of the Penguins, I watch them the most. I haven't watched a game in four days. I think was the last game I watched four or five days ago. Um, I haven't watched their. New, I didn't watch their last game. I don't know if they're, are they playing hockey's tonight? hard to follow. Eighty two yeah. games. Yeah, it's eighty two games. It's the same yeah. as basketball season because I don't watch all the basketball games either. I'm I never did. In. I'm locked in. What are the what are, what well, are the other you. ones? Thank you. <laughs> What were you going to say, Randy? What's the Mancera that he sent you? I was trying to figure that out. I couldn't so that's see black gold. the picture. Black gold. That's black gold. We have that right here. We're going to step into that next. So I guess we got to. I'm excited we're going, for this. We're going up by the elbow. Almost I'm the excited elbow. for this. High forearm. Oh, uh, man. This is this is, has me nervous right here. Nervous? Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. you just you just Life tried one of mine that Dedrick hasn't tried, and now you're trying one of his that I haven't tried. I love black gold, man. So over the years, I have had many people ask me to try this, tell me I would <laughs> like it. I don't. I've looked at the notes in the past. I don't remember. I want to say there's maybe some aquatic notes and fruits and woods and stuff it's like that. It's a bunch of stuff going on, man. But I mean, I, I've yet to come across a Mancera I didn't like. I love so. this stuff. Oh, it's very woodsy. Yeah. Very woodsy in the top. Yeah. Fruity. Mm -hmm. What's that weird smell? There's something different going on. You don't get no here. florals in there. Maybe it's some kind of flower that I'm getting. There's something Violet different. Violet leaf. That's not what I think I'm smelling. There's something out. There's something some kind oud. of spring. Some oud going on. That might be what it is. There's oud in here. Me, me, why, am me, me, not, me, why am I surprised that there's oud? <laughs> but it's making it a little dark. Oh, the, yeah. There's a, a strange funky like that makes sense. Okay, violet leaf and oud, that would make yeah. sense to what I'm smelling then. See if so, you a see dark if you, metallic funk. Yeah, see if you vibe with this a little bit. We know Mancero, they makes a lot of a bright fragrances, yeah. citrusy, floral fragrances. Um, a lot of those. So kind of like Aqua de Jo line, the profumo, it gets darker. It's very One. smoky already. It's funny yep. that you say profumo because I'm yep. kind of getting a profumo vibe. So when you say that, is there lavender and C notes in it? There's lavender and There's C notes. Definitely in C notes. Nice. Definitely yes. C notes. It's a bunch of stuff going in there. Mancera Black Gold is equivalent to me. They don't smell alike. So Aqua Di Joe Profumo. Is that no? There's there's a there's a clear resemblance to me. Yep. My question before I look it up. Uh huh. Is there violet, not just violet leaf? Mm -hmm. I believe it's just violet. You know, it is violet. I believe it's violet. It smells like violet. It's almost it's got violet. that petroleum right. kind of violet smell yes, to it. Yes, it is violet. Yes. Let's let's take let's pull it up. I wanted to ask before I look because I don't want it's people to think that I'm, I'm It's my wife's favorite Mancera. It's her it's her favorite Mancera, next to Jardine Exclusive. Those are her favorite two. Pretty good ratings here. Floral, spicy, woody, sweet, fresh. We yep. got cinnamon, citrus fruits, lavender, Nepalese oud, and nutmeg. Violet. Yep. There we go. Okay, yep. that's what I was smelling. It's loaded, Egyptian man. jasmine, patchouli. So that is here. Yep. So the thing that before I even finish these notes, it's smoky on my skin, mm -hmm. and it could be like the oud and leather giving me this smoky accord. Could even be the vetiver contributing, but the violet, patchouli, marine notes, and lavender, all this stuff. It does generate what I feel is a similarity to Profumo. It's yeah, funny man. that you said that. Yes, yes. Very much so. Yes. Almost like a more complex, yes. higher quality Aqua de Joe Profumo in many ways. And I was talking to a friend of mine, and he said it, not me, so I think I can't take credit for this, but he said this is a this is what a niche Aqua de Joe would smell like. Yeah, hmm. it very much is. And that this gets me very excited. I'm 100% buying a bottle of this. And the next time I buy fragrances, this is getting bought before any of the other ones I said I'm buying a bottle of here in the show. Okay. 
Okay. This is that good, guys. It this is, is the 9.5 I was waiting for. Oh, this boy. is the one. <laughs> because I put Aqua de Gio Profumo as one of the greatest oh, mass yeah. appealing fragrances of all time. It's up there. It'll never be topped in its own line. I don't give a shit what they put out there. They put out great stuff. They'll never top it. I don't care what comes out. I agree. I agree. This is superior to it while mm. having a lot of similar accords. The scent yes. profiles even kind of, I, I would give it like a 60, 65, 70% relation yes. in scent profile. Yes. But deeper. That's where the other 30% falls off is because it's more complexity. There's more going on. This is fan freaking Fantastic. Oh, this man. is my kind of jam right here. That's hey, guys, we got us a fan freaking tastic, y'all. We got yes. us. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, this is the one. This is the it's one. It's really good. It's um, really good. I've had it for now, two years now. So, those of you in the chat that have mentioned this to me over the years, you were absolutely right. My apologies for taking so long. I still have a bottle, <laughs> but thank you, Dedrick, for forcing it on me. Yep, I sure did. And you know what? Because I almost I forgot needed that this. you said it. I, I forgot that you, I mean, you talked about it briefly. And you said that you hadn't smelled it. So when I was finishing up the decant, I said, you know what? He didn't smell black gold yet. So I took a chance and sent it. Hope you didn't smell it yet. So so anybody that hasn't tried this and you're seeing floral as the main accord, yes. And the reason it says that is because it's a strong violet. That's the floral. It's not a feminine smell at no. all. No, 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 not no. Not even no. close to being. That's, no, no, this no. is masculine. This is yeah. very masculine. The floral supports the masculine masculinity. That this one provides a mind. I can view. smell the jasmine, but it's not What's like that? a heavy white flower smell. You know, I, I can pick it up. <laughs> All genre Bob says Coral Fantasy was a one night stand. So it's just Coral Fantasy is <laughs> great. I still want to get it, but this is the one. If I was to only buy one bottle of these eight, this is the one. I don't even Jay care what the last one smells like. I was it's, about to <laughs> it's crazy that you guys are saying it smells like the Aqua de Jo because um, I, I've had people tell me they wanted me to buy it, but a lot of them said it smelled like Pasha de Cartier Noir Absolu or whatever it was. They said that it smelled like uh, Eau Sauvage, no. um, stuff like that. And then I went Eau to Sauvage. No, I don't get no. That. and then I and no. then I went to Fragranica to just try to look it up, and it didn't even have it in the, any of the mentions. No, and I was like, no, no. I was like, that's Lab, crazy. Fresh, spicy, powdery. Like, I agree with a lot of this. And believe it or not, it comes across. I think the darkness of maybe the patchouli and the oud combo is what kind of is confusing me to that smoky smell. But it has that similar dark richness to Profumo. So I totally get yep. where you come with that. A bit, tons of ratings and votes here, keeping it over a four. And yeah, look at that note breakdown. It's, it's kind of awesome, awesome man. It's, it's awesome. And when it dries down, and I want to know if you get it once you get there, it's like out of nowhere, this sweet and spiciness from the cinnamon just reappears. So have they told you addition noir, Randy? Or yeah, noir that, that was the one. It yeah. was a posh. I've never tried any Cartiers except for the noir. So it has Absolutely. it has similar accords and has pretty similar notes. Similar so notes. I can see why they would say that. Because it's got violet, it's got your watery notes, your citruses, pepper woods. Clove in there. There's your spice and your florals. Yeah. I, I bet just based off the note breakdown, it probably does smell similar. But that's but one thing, good. one thing I will be surprised to see if nobody says Aqua de Jo Profumo. Because we're nope. already down the down the distance here. It's it's You're no not gonna saying see it. it. Nope. I totally get it though. Yeah, man. It's funny that you said that. I totally get it. Yeah, man. It's awesome, man. I love it. Woods and spices, eh, not really. I, I disagree with that, but I mean, teach their own. Number one from Clive Christian. I just have to look at the notes. Powdery, citrus, iris, yellow, floral. So maybe there's some resemblance. Someone, I think I have some shared notes, but I think it's fantastic. Fan freaking fantastic, like yes, we said. Yes, it is. Uh, this is amazing, Randy. You absolutely should try this. Yes, this is well. kind of like, almost like a, I wouldn't put it in the tier of like some of the Manceras where it's just a glorified designer. I yeah, think man. this is a cut above. I think this is a cut above some of their other releases because what I'm relating it to is generic designer, but like a, one of the best generic designers ever, in my opinion. So yeah. I think this is just a little step above what their usual releases would be. The depth and <laughs> the scent profiles character is phenomenal here. And I have that old, that vaulted twist cap on this one here. Yeah. Yeah. Earthy. It's starting to get darker, earthier. Yep. That's is. a that's a sleek bottle too. Oh, it's very nice. That matted black and that gold. It's nice. My wife loves this stuff. 
I've had this about two years now, and I wore it on our anniversary dinner when we were going eight years, man, and she literally stopped in her tracks. Spencer That's, said 9.5, damn, sold. It's see, great. It's see, great. One, it is fantastic. Once a year I do, because I'm from Pittsburgh, I do a black and gold bottle video, and so I'm, I, there I, should, you go. I should probably have already had that, right? Yeah, this is good, it's, man. This is it's, good. it's amazing. Yeah. I've been it, – it, I can't believe I never tried this before. Man, you can get. I got a, a buddy of mine who I work with. I like got him seventy five bucks. Yeah, so I'm about to say seventy bucks for a hundred and twenty ml. Nice. Like, come on, and to get and to get what you get, yes, sir. So AC says, wait till the dry down on black gold with a fire yeah, emoji. That's what I was telling Ross just a few seconds ago. Wait till it dries down. Noah with the five dollar super chat. Good evening, gentlemen. Sin of the day, Invictus Victory Elixir. You sir smell incredible. <laughs> Been wearing this every day, hooked to say the least. And he's hitting one of the custom emojis. Shout out, Noah. Man, man. You are you are wearing a good one, but Noah, I'm so impressed with Black Gold from Mansara. <laughs> Shame on me for not having this. Being a, an avid, publicly known fan of Mansara, <laughs> that shame on me. It's shame fantastic. On me. I have to get this one. Like this is the next part of the next fragrance hall. It's fantastic. Absolutely. If mm-hmm. if this stream would have happened five days ago, it'd be part of the one that's coming in. It's fantastic for sure. You said that you bought seven bottles. I've only purchased one fragrance in the last three months. That's impressive coming from yeah. you. Well, because I knew all we got. Yeah. And so in the beginning of the year, I spend like five thousand dollars in fragrances because mm. of all the new releases. Once they calm down, I try to take a break. Mm. I don't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you at all. So for those of you that not aren't familiar with Randy, Randy's new release guy. That's what I always call him because he's usually one of oh, the yeah. first, if not the first. Oh, yeah. To have some content out on a brand new release. He gets the scoop. He's friendly with several reps. He gets the scoop on a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you're subscribed to Fragrance Dude, which I have them both tagged in the top of the description. If you're not subscribed to either, please make sure to subscribe to both of them, especially if you're enjoying it. If you're hanging out and enjoying this chat, you have no excuse as far as I appreciate it. You know, it's just as fun as our last chat. It's very fluid. Uh, Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Great time for sure. If you're a guy and like some powder and florals and fragrance, then this would be a, this would be good to try. That's fair. Yeah, it's not super powdery either. So for those of you who don't like powder bombs or baby powder smells, and it's, it's just not, so it's much not like going that. on with black gold. Um, it it takes you on a journey, man. Like seriously, it does. It does. It's a jasmine leathery scent on me, but fresh up top. Okay. Then I missed the noir ombre section. You did. You did. Uh, it got a nine out of ten, though. It yes, got indeed. a nine out of ten. It's it's a beautiful fragrance. Uh, I missed the boat on that one. I'm not willing to pay what it's going for, but I'm glad Randy gave me five ml because that's going to last a long time. Yep. <laughs> Just picked up a tester for fifty five dollars on fragrance buy of black gold. Wow, that's a hell of a deal there. Excuse well, everybody, you, Ross. Excuse you everybody, the, Ross. He's about to pull out the credit card. <laughs> if you add in the shipping, it's seventy. Yeah! Wow, they sh- fragrance buy. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> no shit, fifty four ninety seven for a four four ounce tester. Wow, that is that's a, a steal. hell of a deal. Don't y'all sell that damn thing out before this live stream, though. Y'all give me a chance because <laughs> I don't want to just stop and Ross, make sure. You are done right for. Now. Hell, I'll spray well, something right now. All I'm right, gonna, up next we have because I'm gonna because I'm because I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy more than that. Because there's others that I held off on that I'm gonna just go ahead and get and do another order. Damn I've it! I've had to, I had to take over your stream over one time before. I got it from here, man. Just go ahead and buy. I would like bottle. to formally <laughs> blame Dedrick Hicks Jr. for the purchase that will be made after this stream. Yes, finally. <laughs> I'm on the from list. From time to time, I have to formally blame people on purchases, and this. I'm season, on the list, man. It's your, you've made list. you've made the list. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, list. that's Jason. Thanks for letting me know. Thank That's you for letting me know. And for deal. those of you that wow. want to get it, like I hope he's blamed me five. like fifty times before. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you I blame just, Randy all the time. You just get blamed all the time. <laughs> so that's why I avoid Randy's reviews if I haven't <laughs> smelled it yet, because it's it's as you can see, I would say eighty to ninety percent of the time we kind of align with our thoughts, especially <laughs> with designers. So usually, whatever he's going to think about, it's pretty accurate to what I'm going to end up thinking about it. Yo, yep. Kyler's a dog, so. man. He goes, quick, everyone, buy ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> Kyler's trying to lose his wrench. 
<laughs> Jared says, "Dead, like we made it, we made it." <laughs> hey guys, I have to. Unfortunately, you guys can continue whatever you need to do. Well, we just I got to... one, uh, one left from Dedrick. So, right, I mean, can, if you got to go, you got to go. It's up to well, you. It's, it's an hour and a half. My boss is going to start texting me here in a minute, but we can do what, you, do what you got to do, man. Unless you want to stay, I mean, that's no, up to I'll, you. I'll stay. I'll stay for five more. Okay, here we go. We'll go ahead and spray it. Let's get to the nitty gritty. So this is Fragrance World's Mocha Wood. I don't oh know what this is a clone of. I have no idea. Oh boy, it's boozy though. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wow, it's oh, not yeah. in my arms. Nowhere near my uh -huh. face. I know it. I know it. This is room filling booze. Yeah, let's add me to the list again. Come on. <laughs> is that whiskey? Oh yeah. Get that nose it's over there. It's sweet. <laughs> it's it's whiskey or brandy, but it smells more like whiskey. Oh, it's not as astringent. Like out in the air, it's like, ooh, that's a lot. When you get closer, it's it's smoother. <laughs> it's a lot more, yeah. It's a little ambery. Mm -hmm. It's warm and ambery, but super boozy. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. And there's a – now this has a little like delectable note hiding in the yes. background. Now I would think with the name <laughs> Mocha that it's chocolate, but it doesn't yes. distinctively smell chocolatey, but – there's something in the realm of tasty yep. hanging yep. out in the background. There's so I guess it's chocolate. Chocolate vanilla swirl. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. makes All sense. genre just said, Randy, stay employed. It's just fragrances. You guys keep, <laughs> if you guys keep seeing me looking down, it's because I'm working while I'm doing the live. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree with all the genre pops. Employment's <laughs> way more important, man. <laughs> no, yeah, I have, the, I have my laptop on my lap right now. So... <laughs> Yeah, Jared, Ward, man, the bottle, y'all. This is the bottle right yeah, here. Yeah, I saw that bottle. It looks sick. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. When I saw it, when I was making the the thumbnail, like, ooh, it's so dope, <laughs> man. God, I love this stuff, man. In the fall, in the cool evening, man. Please, man. Please. So I don't know necessarily where to find a note breakdown. I got you right here. Uh, triple was it? Triple Trader? Because I knew you weren't gonna be able to find it. So go to. I think it's Let's Triple see. Traders has it. Is it yeah, because they'll they'll come up. So they Fragrance World actually has a listing on okay. their website. So yeah, let's Triple Trader has a note right down as well if you don't see it on there. So is this a clone? I don't know what well, it's, it's called. It's, it's Fragrance World, so it's, it's oh, okay. yeah. It's a clone of something, but I don't know it's what it's going to be. It's going to be a clone, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. There we go. And I don't care. Okay. So consists of notes of vanilla, pepper, amber, cardamom, mocha, sandalwood, and oud and vetiver. Vanilla pepper, amber, cardamom, mocha, sandalwood, oud, vetiver. Why does it smell so boozy to me then? See, another note breakdown that I read off of them, they have uh, rum in there. There's Because it's very, very boozy. Like, that's crazy talk, this note breakdown. Like, I'm not saying these other notes aren't in there, but how is there no boozy note here? Yeah, I... Clearly booze in the top. Yeah, other sites have the rum on there. Other sites have the rum. But the vanilla, the pepper, the amber, cardamom, mochas, all of that makes sense. It doesn't distinctively smell like oud, but there's a prominent woody note. It's good, man. But yeah, there's, so apparently there's rum missing from this note breakdown because it's yes. very, very, very boozy. It's only 25 bucks from them. Yep. This is super strong, too. And it lasts and lasts. All you performance warriors out there, if you're looking like for performance warriors. <laughs> If you're looking I mean, this is an easy 8.5 out of 10 type of fragrance. If you're into boozy fragrances, which the wintertime is when I like my boozy fragrances specifically, yeah. this is a good choice. It doesn't smell crazy synthetic and $25 nope. like it costs. Goodbye, man. I would not put $25 as the price point on this aroma. It's a good buy. The, the sweet notes are coming in more. Like I'm getting yep. spice, I'm getting chocolate, and I'm getting more wood. Yeah, it's going to settle down. Here. Yeah, it's going to settle down. Yep. Oh, it's only 15 bucks. Oh, you found it for 15 on fragranceshop.com. Shit. I don't know there what go, that guys. is. I just saw it. Yeah, I last fall. Look at the dent, man. I got this last year. I put a nice <sighs> dent. Oh, in. yeah, that's junk. Yeah, man. I wore it a lot last year, man. A lot. A lot. Nice. It's nice. Glad you guys are doing that mocha wood. Been thinking about pulling the trigger on it for quite some time. Okay. Guys, it's been it's been all home runs here. Now, the Lamal Au Fresh, the only reason it didn't like blow me away is because it smells so similar to another one that I have. I don't know why Dedrick's laughing. I'm being dead serious. Jared. 
Jared oh. says, "Will y'all go ahead and boot this man from the panel so he can keep his job?" <laughs> <laughs> now I understand why you laugh. Yeah, hey, Randy, get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> no, I'm I'm good. I'll stay for it. I have my I'm working, so we're good. Randy's boss about to enter this chat, <laughs> mad as hell. And be like, okay, you know, I'm watching your live, right? Man. <laughs> Andy, Randy, this is your boss. You're fired. Yeah, oh I, just, I just wanted to laugh. I couldn't help. I couldn't hold that laugh in, man. <laughs> so, so I don't know if you guys have. I'll ask the panel. Neil asks if anybody's tried cosmic pepper yet. I have no. not. Me either. I, have not. I definitely I'm want to. Yeah, I have not. yeah. I'm. I'm eagerly wanting to get that one at a discounter pretty soon. Cause like I refuse to pay full price for a Mancera. Yeah, yeah. Now a hundred bucks, I'll pay a hundred bucks, even, even 120. If I yeah. want it bad enough, I'll pay 120. I don't have to wait till it gets to 80 one day down the line. I mean, um, hell, the rate, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting till it hits the discounters and I'm going to jump on it. The rate black gold is going Shoot, You're going to hit it be on for it still soon. I got to make a call to a doctor. So I got to get off the phone. <laughs> Go do what you got to do. <laughs> Randy. Uh, Thank you for being here. Thank you for bringing some of these to my attention, Randy. I appreciate you, man. Seriously. No problem. Hey, all the time, Ross, if you ever need anything, you as well, Dedrick, you guys let me know. Chat, it was always fun. So if you ever want to come me to come back on, you come on my channel. It's always welcome. All yes, love, sir. man. Thank you so much. Indeed. Right. Thank you so much, Randy. You have no a great problem. evening, my man. Hey, good talking Feel to you guys. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Later, guys. Yes, sir. Later, man. All right, guys, so that was Fragrance Dude. Make sure to subscribe to Randy. Like I said, him and Dedrick, they're both tagged at the top of the video description box. You'll yes, see sir. their name added. It's blue. Just click it, bring you right to their channel. Yes, sir. Just Appreciate go ahead and subscribe real quick. It'll drop this down, and you can watch their videos after. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> for sure. So, man, this is a bunch of home runs, dude. Yep. I was not sure. expecting this. For sure. Talk about a steal. Man, I'm gonna have to keep refreshing fragrance by and make sure you guys don't sell this damn thing. <laughs> I can't believe I got mine that's so cheap. I pay 80 bucks for mine when I got it two years ago. But that's still a great price. If you pay 80 bucks for any Mancero, that's great. Yeah, 80 bucks. Any of them. It doesn't I, matter which one. They're all worth from, 80. I think I got mine from Joma Shop. I think mm -hmm. it's about two years ago. Yeah. Here's here's gonna be a funny one. Awaiting Randy's top 10 list of fragrances to wear while meeting with HR. <laughs> 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 Here come Man. the job jobs. Man, that Jared, that Jared line was so funny, man. Yeah, that was great. Somebody <laughs> boot this man. <laughs> Not gonna lie, there may be one less black gold tester. <laughs> well, look, can y'all at least use my link if y'all are gonna do <laughs> Yeah, throw my man some love, man. <laughs> yeah. If y'all are gonna sit here and buy him up for the love of God, help your boy out. Man, what a great I can't believe that's 55. Yeah, that's impressive, dude. Man. Let me make a link real quick to put in the chat. Everybody's wanting to buy this up, man. Help your boy out. Help support the channel. Help support all these fragrance halls. Yeah, man. You know? Drop it down for sure. Y'all hit that yeah. link. Copy. And <laughs> let me put that in the chat. I've seen it's at fun. least four people since right. you smelled it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It is that good, guys. It is that good. So links in the chat for anybody wanting to jump on that. If you don't mind, please. Please. Yeah, I mean, not the end of the world if you don't, but. Yes, show my guy some love for sure, man. Because look, they don't send me fragrances. Yeah, they collaborate with the channel. Um, they sponsor some videos here and there, but I'm buying. I buy a lot of fragrances from those right. guys. I buy stuff from all over the place too, mm -hmm. but mostly from fragrance buy. I'm I'm a pretty loyal guy. When you show the love, I show the love back. Kind sure, of thing. absolutely. You know, I, that's what I am. Uh, so shout out to Fragrance Buy for always having a great stock. Because I'll be damned, fifty four ninety seven, man. Jason, thanks for the hookup, letting us know. Incredible. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely, when we end this stream, I'm going to be making another order. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like Christmas over here lately. There's always a pack, at least one package every day from somewhere. I mean, well, hell, you go, eight for, you go eight for eight <laughs> tonight. I mean, my goodness. Well, dude, I mean, the lowest rating, I gave uh, the Lamal fragrance a seven, just in it, which is still very good. But, I mean, yeah. that's the lowest rating here. Everything else was eights and above because they're all really good. The two that I'm absolutely getting bottles of is Black Gold and Coral Fantasy. Okay. Absolutely. That's probably going to be Coral Fantasy is going to be in this order if they got it in stock. I mean, why okay. the hell not? Um, if not, I'll get it somewhere okay. else in a different haul, maybe eBay or something, or Fragrance Net or something along those lines. Yeah, I've seen it out there. Oh, yeah, it's, it's out there. I know they just restocked the women's Coral Fantasy at Fragrance Box. I, every day I check new arrivals to see what's coming in. All right. Because like I said, I'm always buying fragrances. So yeah, they, they they're really good, man. Uh that Valentino doesn't get talked about a lot. Um, but that's one of the best openings uh that Valentino has for sure. 
Noel said, top 10 fragrances to wear while being terminated from your job. Oh, my God. They're going to pile on, man. They're going to pile on. On the oh link now, God. and it saved my, saved my cart. I appreciate you, Spencer. Yeah, Spencer's good for using my link. I appreciate Spencer. Yeah, for sure. Sorry, Ross. I should have just texted Derek on the low. Derek on the low. Yeah. Yeah, you could have just messaged one of us, you know what I mean? And we could have said it after we made the order. No, I'm just kidding. By yeah. all means, I want everybody that wants to get the hookup to get the hookup, you know? Yeah, hell of a deal. Hell of a deal. Gold Prestigium's a sleeper. So Black Prestigium's one I've been having my eye on for a long time. Okay. Maybe I pulled it because we're cooler weather now. Maybe I pulled the trigger. That's one Iris fragrance I've always had my eye on that I've never gotten around to. I've had several people over the years in my chat and comments Man. tell me that since you love Iris, I'm shocked you haven't tried it. It's this, it's that. So maybe I'll add that one. I know they have it in stock. Man, I look I at it all the time. I can't get that mocha. I just smelled the atomizer, and I can't get that mocha wood off my mustache. It's man. the strongest fragrance here. I can't get it off that I sprayed, guys. It's the yeah. strongest fragrance, and it's the cheapest fragrance. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just sitting right on my mustache, and I didn't even spray it. <laughs> Where do you purchase the perfume Cherry Ink? What's uh, Cherry Ink? I never heard of that one. I've never heard of that one either. I haven't heard of that one, my man. Uh, I don't want to try to butcher your name. I apologize that I'm just going to mispronounce it. But, sir, I, I don't even know which fragrance you're talking about, unfortunately. I can't yeah. weigh in. My apologies. Walt, Walt said he bought his a few minutes ago. So everybody's buying up the stock. And ain't going to oh, have yeah. nothing left when it's time for me to get a bottle in a minute. Oh, yeah. They're going to cancel my order or something. <laughs> have that Gary's Den by Fragrance by FOMO coming in Thursday. Excited to try that. So for those of you not familiar, everybody's been raving about how close that is to DR on Parfum. I've been seeing that. I've been seeing that. Mm -hmm. I, some people have been leaving those comments on my uh, Camaro Omen Tint video. Um, oh, that's a good one. And lately, that one has just been picking steam up. And I've been, when I go to it, the comments are about that. <laughs> that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. But yeah, Camaro Omen Tints, man, that's one of the better cheap pickups of the year for me. That's such a good one. See, good evening to all. Oh, Senate Day Polar Red EDP, EDT. Speaking EDT. of, I mentioned that one earlier. Yeah. Coral Fantasy seems to be on Joma Shop for 94 bucks. That's kind of going rate for most Valentinos. I expect I it to be 90 I, I wonder if there's some truth to it possibly being discontinued. I wonder. Very well could be because let's see. I wonder. So it's out of stock on Fragrance Buy. They don't have it. So I'm going to have to look around and go find it. I might buy it from one of my usual sellers on eBay. Ebay is kind of like my backup. I bought so many fragrances and hats and shoes. I buy so much from eBay. It's unbelievable. Uh, Randy said, LOL, people be taking it seriously. I'm a literal boss. Let them yes, know, sir. Randy. Let them know, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I just got about all of those Valentinos. Hidden Jim said he's a Valentino guy. Shout out my guy, Hidden Jim's, man. And Jason. Jason Virtue. Shout yeah, out my Jason guy. for sure. Yeah. Uh, Hennessy said, shout outs to the hookup. <laughs> so Ocean Hedonist, I haven't seen that name in a little while. Let's, what are three must have cheapies for the fall and winter? That's a good question. Well, I can start off with one for sure. That just, yeah, because we, we got 18 minutes till the 22 hour mark. Let's let's do two hours. You want to take okay, some questions cool. and have a little fun? Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. Lead us off. Uh, I'm gonna say CK1 shock, man. CK1 easy, shock, easy go to. Yeah, that's 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 the first thing I thought of for sure. Give me two um, more. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Um. He said for the fall and winter. Fall and winter, um, yeah. I mean, Anything for the price cool point, I'm going to go um, Bentley uh, Intense, for me and Intense, for the price point. Because uh, you can get a bottle of that for like 30 bucks. 30 bucks. And mm -hmm. last but not least, hell, I'm going to just go with uh, Fragrance World's Mocha Wood. Mocha Wood. I was wondering if you were going <laughs> to I mean, that. why not? I mean, you pay 20, 20, 15 to $25. That's some good stuff, man. So, yeah. So, I'm going to pick one from Fragrance World, too. I'm okay. going to go with Essentia La Homme Le Parfum, the Lamal Le Parfum clone. It is spot on for $29. Wow. It's spot on. Warm, spicy, powdery, ambery. It's great. If you like Lamal Le Parfum, it is that in a different bottle on a budget to me. The accuracy of that, excuse me, the accuracy of that's unreal for $29. Okay. Bucks. And then I'm going to go with Bentley for Men, the non-intense. Mm. If you prefer boozier and spicier, a yeah. little smoother. Yeah. I would say that I actually prefer that one. Um, and then CK1 Shock was such a great answer. But I'm going to go with something a little bit fresher with Aqua Essenziale Blue from Ferragamo just to get a blue okay. in there that's got some density. It's a little powdery and sweet. Definitely has some it's not yep. your typical blue. It's a blue, but it doesn't smell like all the other blues. No, it's That's what I love sure. about it. For sure. Great stuff. 
And I always have to make sure to let people know it's powdery because I used to get fussed years ago. So like I had no idea it was this powdery because it's not that powdery to me. But I can see how to some people that aren't used to the powder, how it could be a powder bomb to them. Yeah, it's really good, though. It's really good. Phenomenal blue fragrance. And you can still get it 30 some odd dollars from most places. 40 bucks range. I'd like you guys opinion. Which one would you take? Wulong Cha or Silver Mountain Water? That's tough. I know my answer, but it's tough. So I'm I'm super like locked in right now with uh, Nisha Nate. So I, I'm going to go Wulong Cha. Um, discovering the T note and what it's what it has done for me personally, I'm going to go Wulong Cha. I'm right there with you with Wulong Cha. I am for shocked. The, for the money, you can get a 50 ml for right over 100 bucks, and a 50 ml goes a long way with Wulong oh, Cha. Yeah. You don't need a lot of sprays. It performs. Yeah, it's straight to it's, perform, it's, it has some depth for being as bright and fresh and invigorating as it is. Oh there's God. real there's real depth there. Yes. There's real performance, versatility. Yes. It's not man. just a basic freshie. It's a, it's a fresh fragrance that can do a lot in your wardrobe. Such a, such a beautiful opening, man. It's incredible. And look, I'm it not is. trying to shortchange Silver Mountain Water, but if no, you no, do no. The, pr- the price difference, it's a classic. Wulong Cha blows it out the water. Yeah. If we start looking at the price difference, it's, yeah, Wulong Cha is phenomenal. It's a, almost a no contest, even though I said it's difficult because it's two of my favorites. Sure. Especially Silver Mountain Water. That's a hit in this household. It's a classic. But it's it's, it's a no contest. It's Wulong Cha, my man. Wulong Cha. And, and, and if you ask the opinions of me, him, and any of our friends that are you know like-minded, yeah. it's going to be the same answer. Yeah, it is. You it go is. ask an EQ and Justin, and you just start yeah. going down the line. It's going to be Wulong Cha. It's, gonna be the it's incredible, man. Yeah. It's there's a lot more fan. There's just as many fans of Silver Mountain Water. But of course, we, like I said, you take that price consideration in there, and then versus what people complain about with Silver Mountain Water with it not performing the way it used to. Yeah, that, that's not an issue with Wulong Cha. Yeah, yeah, it's good, man. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> I, I knew I knew we were both going to say Wulong Cha. Yes, sir. Love it. <clears throat> Love it. Lucky Sense has Cherry Ink. So Twilly okay. went ahead and hooking up with the answer. I'm not even familiar with what fragrance that is shout out my guy twilly's two cents what's the house twilly let me uh where's uh let's see uh jason says let's coral fantasy parfumo. cherry ink uh lorenzo i'm not even gonna try to say it <laughs> but this must be the fragrance is this the fragrance you guys are talking about cherry ink pretty highly rated oh wow look at that breakdown yeah that's what i'm screaming Holy Shit. hell. Okay. Yeah, let me log that into my files real quick. Um, the note breakdown alone says we need to try this. Absolutely. <laughs> Amar- Amarina cherry, cherry, rum, bergamot, black pepper. Doesn't that opening just sound amazing? Golly, man. I'm looking boozy at cherry. Memorized. It's boozy cherry in the top. With and I love cherry. Myrrh mm-hmm. and red wine. Wow. Spices, damask rose, ink. Jasmine, mimosa, lily of the valley, amber, Where's precious you? woods, tonka bean, musk, oud, patchouli, and vanilla. What? What in the hell? Like, where can you buy this? That note breakdown, it's supposedly a limited edition that's still in production, according to what it says in the gray area. It's this here. sounds amazing. A 50 ml for 175 on Lucky Sense. This it's- sounds incredible. And straight to parfum. Yes, it does. Holy shit. Yo, I might not play around with this one. I got to get a decant. Yeah. I don't want to just blind buy it because it could be just cough syrup terrible. Yeah, it's I'm buying cherry. I'm, I'm it. could be cough my... syrup or it could be amazing. Yeah, they got a 0. 0.7 sample for five bucks right now. So I'll be getting that tonight. Yeah, I'm going to do that tonight too. Man, yeah, thank not? you. For, thank y'all for bringing that to our thank attention. Y'all. I never thank even heard y'all. of this. Because we heard it earlier in the chat in the uh, stream. And we just, the gentleman who asked us about it. Dude, look at this note breakdown. I know I'm mesmerized. two different types of booze, variety of of cherry, actually three because mimosa that comes across a little. That comes off too. a little cherry, yep. Shit, the ices. The I wolf, bet this is great. The ooh, oh yeah, sample tonight. <laughs> yeah, we got to try that, Dedrick. <laughs> we got to get that. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting it for sure. Hi, Dedrick. I know you're reading lower than Ross. Thanks for sharing the stream with me, but oh yeah, absolutely, Randy. It's a pleasure. I'm here too, man. I'm glad you were here, Randy. Yeah, a pleasure for me as well. I'm having a great time. Spino's Black Gold has strong lavender and spice five. That stuff okay. is ridiculously strong on my skin. 
Yeah, it lasts for sure. So I, I agree with you there, man, for sure. One less tester available. Re up to damn, my Sicily. Man. My girl left me a corner of it. Oh, damn. Hey, yeah, get that Sicily. Sicily is good stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not the same, but as far as Gary's Den goes. Oh, so it's not, not as close to Dior and Parfum. It's probably similar, I guess. Okay. Randy's not fired. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hands up. <laughs> Gary's Den sold again. Fragrance Buy did an Insta post about it. Because, I mean, they're getting all the profit. It's their fragrance. So, of course, they're going to advertise theirs. It's hot right now, man. Mm -hmm. It's hot. So, here's one. Here's a good question for us to go with. Gents, <laughs> which three discontinued fragrances would you wish was back in stock and production? Mm. That's a thought-provoking fragrance right there. Well, one for sure, Pure Havan for me. Okay. Uh, by Mugler. Um... Dang. Back in production. Wow. Oh, um, uh, uh, I don't know, Ross. I'm, I'm I'm going around the block here. Um discontinue. I'll give you one. Spice Bomb Fresh. So more people could try it. Spice Bomb Fresh. Okay. Okay. Valentino one more aqua. So my man that loves Valentino flankers could get to experience that one. Tomato leaf and soapy iris. It's amazing. I have a decan of that. Oh, so you have tried it. I have a it's decan. Super, of that. It's super underappreciated, guys. Uh, I wish that one was still still available. As far as I know, it's been discontinued. So Valentino Womo Aqua and Spice Bomb Fresh are two for me. Just because I want more people to experience them. I have bottles of both. I would just like more people to, so that you can understand why I like them so much, basically. And I, I, have, I don't wear them all that much. I haven't worn Valentino Womo Aqua in a while. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say uh, one million Privé as well, even though I have a decant. That's a of great it, answer. I would really, I would love to have a bottle of that. Um, and the um, so last, I think it was the year before last, OG Vray was in my Nordstrom, and there was another one called uh, Ultra Fresh. Yes, yes. So when I went back, the Ultra Fresh was gone. It was gone, and OG Vray was left standing, and I never picked up. It's pricey on eBay. I've, I've been watching a few different. Have you bottles. ever smelled it? Mm -mm. No. So I'm really curious what's the difference between. It's got that a water record. Yes, yes. So I'm really curious. I'm just curious. But I'm going to say Privé. Privé is going to be that, the one, for, another one for sure. Aqua de Joe Ascenza is my third pick. Mm. I wish that was mm. back in production. Because mm. I kind of just good hold stuff. on to my decant for no good reason. Because it is phenomenal. Mm. Don't get me wrong, Bentley from In Silver Lake, I think, is the ultimate replacement for it, but it doesn't have the floral tone that Ascenza actually has. That's the missing component, I think, okay. that separates them. Cool. Silver okay. Lake's good enough, but Ascenza is ultimately still just so much better. It's just, not, I mean, $250, $300, $400, $500, that's stupid. Yeah. That's stupid. Ain't no way. Ain't no yeah. way, bro. I can't <laughs> do it. I call a hospital to get a patient there. The chemo meds. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's kind of important. Mm-hmm. And Jim said, I get everything from eBay. I, dude, yes, I, am, he does. I am avid eBay guy. I have yes, been for he years and years and years. Since I was a teenager, like the very first rendition of eBay's website, I I used to shop on. Okay. I've sold many times over the years. Like I have a, you know, five or 600, 100% feedback rating from selling stuff over the years. And right. it's, I'm an eBay guy. Always have been. I don't know how people get scammed on eBay. I got scammed one time. Okay. Blue Day Chanel Parfum. Ooh. And that's when I learned that you just pay retail for Blue Day Chanel Parfum because anything yeah. that's not retail is fake, basically. Yeah, Chanel don't play that. Yeah, so <laughs> that, I learned that years ago. Right. <sighs> Let's see. Dedrick, that Mike Tyson art in the back is sick, by the way. Yeah, shout out to my cousin PJ, man. He made that for me. Um, So shout out my cousin, yeah. Jared said three cheers for an employed Randy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be laughing at that comment Jared made probably for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> CK1 Shock I'm in love is one I'm in love with. I wear the hell out of it. Yeah, man. It does the job so well, and it out it performs great on me. Same here. Same here. So Dakota said, this stream has been amazing, man. It looks like Black Gold will be one of my next pickups. I'm buying it after we get off. Thanks for watching, Dakota. Yeah, I'm definitely buying it after we get off. Let me, re Matter of fact, let me refresh, make sure it's not sold out yet. Okay. I hope it's not. We're good. It's still there. We're good. <laughs> So you never know if 20 people buy it, they might not have it's a wrap, baby. It's you know, a wrap. I don't know. <laughs> What's the most expensive fragrance in your collection? And do you believe the price reflects the quality? 
I believe, okay, so I don't know. It's probably a couple of dollars that separates these two. So one is from Royal Crown. It's called Noor. It's a beautiful, ambery, spicy, uh, just powerhouse. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is uh, Ab Abrevia, Abrevia from Tenziana Terenzi. Um, those are the two most expensive in my collection. Now, the Noor, every time I smell it, I can't believe what I'm smelling. It's that good and for a 400 dollars retail fragrance i'm not going to sit here and say it's justifiable because of the price but i will say the experience that i've gotten from it it's worth more it's worth more so i always go experience just like when i smelled uh i'm getting a lot of conversation about the blockade from mind games and a lot of people are saying no 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 for the price for the price but that mango in there is providing mango event is basically right yeah it's events with mango with yeah. mango so uh, yeah, so I'm gonna say uh, Royal Crowns uh, Noir um, for me. But is it? Do you think it's justifiable for the price? I'm gonna then? say yes because of the experience that I get. The experience, the qualities there, everything you want, the performance, the sillage, everything's there. Everything is there, but the experience from wearing it, I don't think I have nothing else in my collection that gave me that experience for the first time. For the first so time. For the first so time, I want to pull this up. Yes, sir. It's phenomenal stuff. I might wear it tomorrow, actually. So, I did not pay for this. Ooh, I would not. I would not own it if I had to buy it. It is. That's two mortgages right before there. Before I say how it's not worth what it costs, <laughs> <laughs> let me let me preface that with it's one of the deepest, most luxurious smelling fragrances I've ever smelled. It wows mm. me. It's stunning. It is truly impressive. It is a work of art in a bottle. Okay. This is Raja Parfums Diaghilev. Mm. I think retail is like sixteen or eighteen hundred dollars. Mm. Even from discounters, it's like eight hundred bucks or some shit. I don't wow. think any fragrance is worth that, no matter how good it is. I don't. But it is one of the most satisfying olfactive experiences I've ever had. Okay. The bottle will outlive me because it's okay. a very situational fragrance for me. Okay. Um, there will be probably more than half of that bottle left when I die, if I die to grow to be a very old man. Mm -hmm. um, but it is, like I said, just such an impressive experience. You can look at all of this, and what it comes down to is it's an oak moss dominant fragrance. Like it says, Sheepa right here. Okay. It's spicy, resinous, very, very, like, one of the best amber accords I've ever smelled. Okay. It's very ambery, even though it doesn't list amber. It's right. got this resinous, sticky, ambery, thick smell to it. There's an animalic tone to it. Wow. It's it's a very believable, you know, highest level of raw material smell. Like you believe this stuff is exp it smells expensive. Look at okay? that. Note right Some now. fragrances just smell expensive. This is one, and it is indeed very expensive. But like I said, with all of that, I think it's not worth the money. Man. Now, if you want to pay God knows what for 2ML, to experience 2ML of it, for those that are chasing a unique experience, yes. Yes, I think it's an experience worth having. Dedrick, if I ever get some freaking decants, I got you. Okay, okay bet. I okay. never have any decants. That's This is when I told you the other day when we meet up, Yeah, there's some Raja fragrances that are going to blow you away. I said I need yeah. to bring this is one of them. Okay. This will blow you away. It's amazing. I'm looking forward it's to gonna it. be one of the best fragrances you ever smell in your life. I'm looking for I just smelled my first Roja. Well, my second Roja the other day, and that was Burnton 1819. That's one of the best fragrances you ever smell in your life, too. It's that's, incredible. That's up there. It's that I can tier. justify more. That you can get for around 300 Yeah. It's top tier. That's worth the money. That's it's top tier. so complex. Mm -hmm. such, so, so good. good. Such, such a good quality. A musky, man. warm orange at the top. It's, it's beautiful, man. More. Oh, God. The musk that's, in it when it dries down. It's that's great. one of my favorites from the house. I like yeah. that more than this, actually. Oh, wow. It's more, okay. it's more wearable. It's more yeah. wearable. Well, that's yeah, what I like absolutely. It yeah, I love this it, This is man. super situational. with Burlington 1819. Anytime you just want to be that guy that's smelling better than everyone else, you wear that yeah. fragrance. You smell I, better than everyone else. I have a 5 <laughs> ml decant. I have a yeah. 5 ml decant, man, and I, I love it. Yeah, so this is the one for me. This wow. is the one for 1600 me. 1,600 bones. Something like that. Even from like, let I'm sure they have bottles in stock on Fragrance Buy, <laughs> man, because they're not selling all of that out. And I have to hit a massive parlay 
<laughs> so it's it's actually cheaper than I thought. So six hundred and fifty three dollars from Fragrance Buy. Six hundred reta retail is triple that. Retail is triple. It's sixteen or eighteen hundred retail. We're talking two racks. But it's it's yeah, it's it's freaking. You know, oh, look at that. I Kyle wouldn't want to pay that. Kyler said there's a tester on Aurora fragrances for two sixty. Of Diagolev? That's what he says. That's worth it. Oh that's God, yeah, that's two fifty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's worth it. Then it's gonna be the one of the classiest fragrances in your collection, if not the. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm, I'm I'm putting you, together. You, you won't have the cap though. That's the thing. Oh, and they look weird without the cap because their their testers don't have caps. I'm funny about a cap too. Me too. <laughs> I'm like real bougie. <laughs> well, Seems sure. to be the night's winner. That's that I was not expecting, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's it's the one for me. So Randy's right there with us with Wulong Cha. Chow. We got a bunch of people saying Wulong Cha. So that tells me how far behind I am. Let me get caught up. Wulong wow, Chow. Randy got it for 87. That's a steal. Oh my God. That is such a steal. Any Sweet. clue of black gold tester? So Mancera's come with the cap. They come with the cap, yes. It's going to come. They used to come in the retail box with a big tester sticker on the side. Mm -hmm. Now they come in a little cheap white box. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have the cap. Mm -hmm. I, when tester is an option, as long as there's a cap, I get the tester. I'm getting the tester. Yes. Every time. Even yep. if it's to save eight bucks, I'll save the eight bucks. I don't, because I'm going to throw the box away anyway. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, sorry, able to drop, just able to drop in Dior Ohm. I guess he meant 2020. 2022. <laughs> Dior Ohm 202. Yeah, before That'd be the a land release. of time, <laughs> Wulong Cha will change your life. Yeah, man. Ross, you, did you see the Coke fragrance? It's like actual Coca Cola fragrance. No, I did not. That's kind of funny. Hmm. So we're right over two hours. Let's take a few more and then we'll shut it down. So we got Josh in the chat. Hope everyone's doing great. Shout out, Josh, no man. Sin, no sin of the day. We're going to wear a few sprays of Memo Ocean Leather to bed. That's a good one. Joe sent me a, DK, a sample of that a while back. Shout out Josh. Subscribe to Josh, man. He's doing some cool stuff. Elroy Prepson in the oh, house. Yeah. <laughs> Been looking to sample some niche fragrances because you recommend sampling one bright and fresh fragrance, one elegant wedding fragrance, one versatile fragrance, one fall and winter daily wear. So this is a very loaded question. So this will be the last one, guys, because this is okay. going to take a few minutes. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see what was the try to tackle one? this one. The first one he said was. Let's start a, off with a bright and fresh fragrance. So all of these are going to be niche. So all of these are niche. Yep. It's simply one bright and fresh frag. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm gonna go with one I wore the other day. I'm gonna go with Mancera's Vetiver Sensual. I'm gonna go with Vetiver Sensual, a very wearable vetiver. The citrus in it, the citruses in that fragrance are very beautiful. There's a slight spice to it as well. Um, so I'm gonna go Vetiver Sensual for a fresh frag um, at the niche, and you can get it for a great price for sure. So, um, so we'll do one at a time together. Okay, simple. So the one bright and fresh, I'm going to go with Raja Parfums Oceania. Okay. That is, it could have doubled as your elegant wedding fragrance for a summer wedding. Mm -hmm. But for your bright and fresh, I mean, it. that's immediately came to mind with Niche. It's a very watery citrus. Uh, there's no aquatic notes, but it manages to smell <laughs> like an oceanic, airy, breezy aquatic. So loads of citrus variety of citrus a little bit of greens you have iris and violet but it's not the kind of violet like think like dedrick think the violet that's here in black gold it's not okay. that kind of violet it's okay. more of a soapy slightly powdery violet than it mm. is earthy or gasoline anything like that okay um so the florals aren't super powdery they're a little powdery they're more soapy okay and a lot of ambergris a little musky tone as it dries super airy it smells like it's going to be light and weak but it Sounds stays great. all day on your skin. It's very, very airy. It's a yeah. light fragrance that sticks to the skin. I look forward to smelling that one so day for sure. That would be the one fresh, bright and fresh that I would recommend. Okay. So next would be an elegant wedding fragrance. What you think, Dedrick? Well, for me, I have a wedding to go to on Friday, actually. So the one that I know that I'm wearing to the wedding is I'm going to wear um, Signature Rosé from the House of Zaharoff. I would say that's very elegant indeed. <laughs> That's what I will be wearing on Friday to a mm. wedding. Yes. So in a situation like that, my go-to has been for a long, for a few years now, Baccio Amartel from Argos. Mm -hmm. I actually prefer it to Tuscan leather. It's in the same vein of Tom Ford's Tuscan leather, but mm -hmm. you can smell a clear quality difference. 
um, fruity leather, right. ambery, a little bit of florals, all that good stuff. Like I said, think Tuscan leather, just upscale. It's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that would be the one for me. Now, really one good. versatile fragrance, something everyday niche. What you think, D? Damn, versatile everyday niche. <laughs> well, I got to stay true to me, and I'm going to go Creative Ventus. Um, that's me. That's me. Blue de Chanel and Creative Ventus are my top two DNAs ever. So I'm going to go Creative Ventus, man. That's for me, for sure. Every day I'm, you can wear it whenever. I'm going to go Ventus Cologne. There it is. <laughs> I'm going to go Ventus Cologne, actually. It's funny that you said Aventus. There it is. So picture Aventus's DNA. Remove some smokiness. Add mm -hmm. some crisp ginger. Yep. Change out your pineapple and all that good stuff for some orange. Beautiful orange in it. And it's still just as musky. It still mm -hmm. smells like Aventus, but it's it's clearly been reworked. Yep. I prefer it to Aventus, though I love and adore the Aventus scent profile. I just sure. really, really love Aventus Cologne. It's and real it's, good. I, I, that's the one I would pick here. It's real good. Real good. Now, one fall and winter daily wear. So cooler weather, daily wear. Damn, fall and winter daily wear. Niche, niche, niche. Um, daily for me. Yeah. I'm going to go uh, from the uh, House of Parfums de Marley. I'm going to go Pegasus Exclusive. Ooh, for a daily wear. Yeah, for me. Yeah, because it's my okay. favorite from the house. It's my favorite from the house, and I wear it everywhere to work when I go out. Um, honestly, if I just feel like wearing okay. it when I'm just kind of moving around, I will put on a couple sprays of Pegasus Exclusive. Yep. That's fair. For me, Zaharoff Signature Tobacco. Mm. It's, it, I look That's at it as a so sexy, tobacco, tobacco yeah. greatest hits. That's fragrance. a sexy fragrance, man. There's a little bit of every kind of tobacco style. In there. There's sweet, there's woody, there's boozy, there's spicy, there's aromatic, there's smoky, there's all of that. Very well balanced. It's not too much of any one type of accord. It's very good. Great every day. Can be casual, professional. <laughs> it can go out. It can I might wear that out. to the wedding. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got me thinking about it now. Because I've been you having a lot mind. of that fragrance. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. I really enjoy it. Yes. Yes. So let me scroll down, see if we got anything pressing before we shut it down. <laughs> Looks like we are good. So we're right over the two hour mark. So I appreciate all of you for being here. Thank you, everybody, for the super chats. Thank you, everybody yeah. that renewed their memberships. Absolutely. Thank you, Dedrick, for sending me these decants, man. Because yes, uh, one of the four you sent me is getting purchased tonight. Yes, sir. No problem. I'm tonight. excited I was able to be here. Randy, thank you so much. I know you're still watching. Thank you so much for sending some decants my way. Uh, uh, Genius Ginger is on the short list, probably next fragrance haul. Not Maybe not this fragrance haul, but next month. I at least do one a month. Right. But I see the hype. I understand the hype. It is so refreshing. Yes. And enjoyable really smell. I'm definitely going to be getting a bottle of Goldfield and Banks and Genius Ginger. Shout out Randy, uh, man. For those of you watching that haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to Dedrick and to Fragrance Dude. Like I said before, top of the video description. Appreciate you see their names that. tagged in blue. Click that. Go check out their content. Subscribe. Subscribe if you like what you see. Thank and you. even if you don't like what you see, do me the personal favor. Subscribe anyway. Why not? They're good guys. Up, if you sat yeah. here through the chat, you probably like them, I would think. Appreciate that love. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. As always. So with that said, uh, tomorrow's video, fresh out the shower. We're doing eight instead of ten. I narrowed okay. it down a little bit more than usual. Okay. Uh, also on the TLTG Vlogs channel, if you're not subscribed over there, we got another Hat Club exclusives. Oh, digging the hat videos lately, that. man. Digging yeah, the hat videos. You got some well, real It's, it's my uh, my hat time, hat buying time of year. That's what okay. the fall is for me every year. That's when I work on the hat collection. Yes, sir. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure to like this stream on your way out. Check out today's video if you haven't yet. Catch you guys on the next one. Y'all be cool, man. And before we go, you got to hit them with it over here. Splag it up. Splag it out. Splag it that thing all around. Ross, thank you for having me. And remember, Splack of that thing all around. What you put out into this world, you are going to get back as my young son opens up the room while the live is still going. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have a good one, guys. Y'all have a great one. <laughs>